I was chosen by God. I have apostles. I help the blind to see. I save souls. But unlike the chosen one sent before, God will never let you take me. This world is on the brink. Don't you understand what we're trying to build? And now, the collapse is upon us. We will take what we need. We will take you, willingly or not. Begin the refi! The cult stealing our land, kidnapping our friends. This is our home. Your grandfather built this place. I thought if we could just hang on, Eden's Gate would just go away. But they won't. They've been waiting for somebody to kick off their goddamn holy war. You need to build a resistance. Make no treaty with them. And show them no mercy. If we stick together, Cult will never break us. What God gives, no man can take away. <laughs> Far Cry 5 is the biggest, most open Far Cry to date, giving you free reign to explore the highways and wilderness of Hope County, Montana, where you'll make life tough for the cultists of the project at Eden's Gate by blowing up their stuff and uniting the locals as a resistance. How you do this is entirely up to you. Shit, nice move! More or less from the get-go, the entirety of Hope County is yours to explore however you like, whether by truck, helicopter, or fast travel wingsuit airdrop. And there's a lot to discover. Poking around its wooded trails might reveal prepper caches protected by puzzles or challenges or wolverines. Or you might find signposts that reveal picturesque cliffs from which you can go wingsuiting. You might even discover a plaque commemorating the impossible deeds of 70s daredevil Clutch Nixon, at which point you'll be able to, say, recreate his literally on fire rally run through sprinkler checkpoints that delay your inevitable explosion. As with any Far Cry game, however, some of the best moments come from the unpredictability of the world itself. When you've got cultists, vehicles, fire, and extremely violent animals all running amok at once, it only takes a second for a mission to go from high-tension stealth to berserk carnage because that incendiary arrow missed a cult VIP and hit a bull instead. Far Cry 5 also expands one of the best parts of earlier games, scouting out enemy outposts, methodically hunting down all of their defenders, and claiming the compounds for your side. Not only are outposts everywhere in Hope County, clearly marked by columns of black smoke, but all across the map you'll find prominent citizens under siege by the cult. Name's Grace. Helping them push back and reclaim what's theirs will convince them to join you in battle, or at least give you more intel about the cult's activities. As you reclaim territory from the cult, destroy their property, and generally interfere with their plans, you'll fill a resistance meter for the region you're in. Each region of Hope County has four levels of resistance, and when you hit a new tier, the cult will step up its armaments and tactics. Once a rebel's property is back under their control, you'll be able to recruit them to follow you into battle as a gun for hire, giving them orders with the D-pad and using their skills to help push back the cultists. In addition to the unique story characters, guns for hire also include locals looking to fight back, and each outpost you liberate will unlock at least one fresh-faced combatant who will hang around, ready and eager to watch your back. You can run with two guns for hire at once, and they're perfect for tackling the side quest that each outpost opens up, which will net you money to spend on more ammo and better guns. Guns for hire aren't just good in a fight either. They can also revive you if you fall in battle, 
and you'll need to do the same for them, which can get a little challenging under heavy fire. Don't let it bother you too much if you can't reach them in time, though. They won't die, but they'll also be unavailable for a while as they recover from their injuries, after which you can recruit them again. Also, be aware that any cultists you take down but don't kill can also be revived by their comrades, so be sure to finish them off good. It hurts so bad! Far Cry 5 is an adventure you can pursue on your terms, and the fact that everything can go sideways in a second because you ran too close to a seemingly harmless turkey is a big part of the fun. Hope County is wild and unpredictable, and you can find out how wild when Far Cry 5 launches on March 27, 2018 on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more on Far Cry 5. Hey. I'm Nick Rye, and I've fucking had it with that cult. Now, I got a baby on the way, and I don't want my kid calling Joseph C. the father. That's me. I'll be his father. And Carmina and me, we are both ready to join the resistance. And Carmina's my plane, but we're a package deal. Look, you'll get the best pilot and the best plane in Hope County. Well, she's a beaut, ain't she? That minigun, I'll make it rain bullets on all those damn pegs. You need some shocking awesomeness? Guess what? I got big old bombs. Ready to hit those damn peggies hard. You say the word, and I will fight by your side. Get Black here. Listen, everybody's got a talent. Mine putting arrows through the heads of people who want to kill me. I'm good at this. I'm real good at this. They won't see me coming. Won't hear me either. Animals too. They can sense an apex predator. They won't mess with me. I don't screw around. I'm joining the resistance. What up, Herkmaniacs? It's your boy, Herk. Back to where I was born and raised, and I meet these eating gate dipshits, and they think they can do whatever they want? No. You want me to turn some wheels into scrap metal? You point, and I'll shoot, man. Point, shoot. Point, shoot. Point, shoot, point, shoot, point, shoot. Fuck, I love shooting things, man. Come on, you know I do. I got a passion for it. It lives in my balls, and it bubbles up to my guts. What about moving targets? Don't you worry, your boy Hurst has got them heat-seeking missiles, too. But real talk, on a spiritual level, I'm the only person here with a direct line to the Monkey King up above. So if you want a great A American badass who's blessed by the monkeys, I'm right here for you. Well, hey there. I'm Adelaide Drubman, businesswoman, and oh, so much more, sweetheart. These cult fuck nuggets are making it hard to build up my business. Nobody stands between me and my dreams. Call me. And I'll be there with my chopper hot and ready to go like a bride on her wedding day. I'll bring the good guns, too. The kind with the big-ass clips that are illegal in Canada. <laughs> I'm joining the resistance. You can thank me later, darling. Charlemagne Victor Beauchat here. May as well call me Sharky, though, because we're probably going to be the very best of friends after this. Taking down Peggy's with you is going to be a hoot. Oh yeah, I got skills too. Mad skills, man. I make my own pyrotechnics, smoke bombs, incendiary rounds. The Peggy's don't stand a chance, okay? And I can take a blast to the face and keep on trucking. You're gonna want me around when the shit hits the fan, because when the shit hits the fan, you fight it with fire. Yup, Sharky's joining the resistance. Name's Grace Armstrong. These Peggy's are trying to erase our history, demoralize us. They want us to give in. I saw the same tactics used over in Afghanistan. I was a sniper for the army. A lot of people think they can pick up a scoped rifle and call themselves a sharpshooter. Well, I'm not a lot of people. Got war medals, an Olympic medal, and a laser sight that prove I'm different. These Peggy's know about me. All I have to do is hit one of them, and a wrestler gets scared. 
They can run all they want, but I'll get them. If you're looking to team up with a real soldier, give me a call. We done here? There's work to do. Gate is the center of it all. You want to get out of here alive? Gotta make them feel the pressure. Sabotage their plans. Destroy their convoys and their guard stations. You'll remember, the more you play with their nerves, the bigger their reaction. And nerves, they've got lots of it. You got me down on the killing floor. I got friends out there, too. Good people. They're ready to resist. All they need is a spark. The more you help liberate a region, the more the resistance meter will fill up. And the more resistance means more people who fight by your side. They want a war. Let's make sure we don't disappoint. you know what's your favorite part of the game or what's going to happen next as you're playing the truth is is we don't know because the game is organic it pushes back on its own i can't give you super hyper specifics on this but what i'll tell you is is that in previous far cries i think we had about 18 to 20 ish characters that you'd meet yep and just on the premier side of things we're over 65 and just in terms of the rest of the world, the world's incredibly deep, so I don't honestly know just how many characters there are, but everybody has a job, everybody has a purpose, everybody has an opinion, and everybody wants to contribute to you fighting back. I'm gonna keep on fighting, thanks. But what's really interesting is watching people play the game, and then after a little while they start to realize, wait a minute, I can mix up my squad. I can play with the guns for hire and the fangs for hire and the combinations, and they know each other. And some of the, uh, the banter between them is amazing. Just watch this hustle. Imagine all of that, but with a buddy, like a yeah, co-op partner. Co so I just like just dropping in in the middle of nowhere and flying around while you're driving, because obviously you won't be flying, I'll be flying. Um, so if I'm flying around, you're driving in your muscle car yeah. with your 70s soundtrack, and it's... 70s soundtrack, I mean, why is that a bad thing? That's an amazing... That's an amazing thing. My son can't appreciate <laughs> that here, but it's amazing. No, but it's great, it's great. And honestly, for me, one of the best feelings is literally to be up in the skies and just exploring and discovering Hope County. Like, obviously, wildlife plays always played a big part in, yeah. in a Far Cry game. Uh, the one little vicious animal that I hate to find, and especially hate to hear, is the wolverine. Yeah, the skunk's not fun, though, dude. What? The skunks. I don't know. Have you heard Dangerous. the wolverine? I, I've, I've been, like... What does it sound like? Oh, this is gonna be good. Wait for this. That's literally what the Wolverine sounds it's like. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> you understand? It's oh vicious. Vicious is the oh, word. Oh, it's just, it's like Christmas every day when he does stuff like that. We wanted to put as much freedom as possible into the hands of the player. So just making sure that, you know, uh, you step in any situation and you're really free to approach it in, in a certain way. And play the game in a way we hadn't decided was the right way to play it, it's super cool to see. Get down! We were drawn to Montana, and I would say we fell in love with Montana first for its uh, landscape. It was all that variety of different locations that really 
it hit us hard when we got to Montana and like this is gorgeous we need this in our game and that's exactly what we did we brought all that variation into our biomes into our vegetation and uh, into the world it felt really like a wild space that we could own as a Far Cry game and we also looked at the animals that we could get there and we felt, felt like it was exactly a match for a Far Cry space. Everybody expects Far Cry 5 to be beautiful but on this project I think we really brought it to the next level in terms of quality and fidelity of what we saw in Montana bringing it back to our world. When we set a game in Montana present day, in our own fictional Montana, uh, there are roads, there are houses and it's interesting to see players starting to play the game and see that they stick to roads, for instance. Because it looks like home, you start to behave like if you were home, instead of crossing the wilderness. So it's interesting to see these new behavior that are related to that setting that's much closer to, uh, to where we live. So photogrammetry for us was a technique that we really had to use in order to get that extra details and realism in our assets. Um, so what photogrammetry is, is that you take pictures around a certain subject, uh, you go all around it, takes all the data of all the images and creates you a 3D object, which you can then take in your engine and transfer it into the game. So for us, it was, it was really changing the way we worked. Being in Montana, was, that was a perfect opportunity for us to do photogrammetry. We're already there taking pictures of the environment, of the scenery, of how things grow, and the results are gorgeous. It was a lot of research. We saw right away that fishing was like this really big thing, this cultural thing that people really love to do over there. Fly fishing was quite uh, present there and we said we should absolutely try to instill that in the game. Even if it's not a priority, we should have it. It feels that it belongs to that space. And we did, didn't just want to do the little simple fishing. We, wanted, we went all out and we did like different types of lures, different types of fishing rods different types of fish. We really wanted to have a super deep uh, fishing system. We have somebody on our Toronto team who is a texture artist who comes from Montana and he sent me an email two weeks ago saying you guys nailed it. County in Montana and we're going to be flying around and just exploring that county for ourselves. Mm. Um, you know, with the, the cult kind of taking over that space, uh, we're in John Seed's territory, who's basically one of the brothers of Joseph Seed, the cult leader, the father. Um, so we're gonna go fly around, try and see what's going on, help some folks, um, maybe do some hunting, fishing, I don't know, whatever, whatever the game throws at us, so we're yep. gonna see. Uh, just a reminder, it's live, it's playing on PS4. Yeah, um, maybe Alex, you can show the controller. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. He... Um, so we're gonna go around. We're gonna try some stuff. Uh, obviously, it's a systemic game, so yeah. it's unscripted. We don't know what's gonna happen, but that's what's fun about it. That's so, the beauty of it. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see what Alex comes up with. Um, he, he usually is pretty good at playing okay. the game. So Thanks, Phil. <laughs> what is this fog that he's aiming at? So the, where we see that is uh, is John C's ranch, I think. So okay. we're gonna yeah, approach so John C's ranch. Um, we're gonna see, maybe it's, it seems like it's maybe occupied, or at least there's some defenses. <laughs> let's let's is, check by firing a round or two. Why not? Yeah. Let's just, yeah, yeah, wake them up a little bit. If yeah. they were sleeping, they're probably not sleeping anymore. Yeah. <laughs> because you could have approached it stealthy. Oh yeah, as well. yeah, there's a lot of ways to approach any situation in Far Cry, like any tools at your disposal, you can really try and create, you know, your own way of approaching or dealing with a situation. So we see, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's just Why not? leave this plane. Parachuting. So this is another maybe less conventional mm -hmm. uh, approach to taking a uh, you know, location. But Alex seems to be comfortable in the air. Nice. That was a nice kill. Yeah. Uh, but Something yeah, you can really it. approach any location oh. in any way you want. Yeah. Um, uh, you can be solo, you can play with co-op, you can play with uh, uh, guns for hire. Mm. Um, so there's a lot of ways to, to deal with the, the project at Eden's Gate. Yes. And obviously we hear the alarm, that's because you've got, sp like Alex got spotted. Well, obviously, I mean, yeah. he flew in with a plane. <laughs> I don't know. Doing a strafe run. Maybe so. it's... <laughs> <laughs> for sure, but yeah, yeah, you could definitely enter in a, in more of a stealthy way, yeah. uh, depending also on your, your play style or uh, your weapons. Uh, right now we see Alex has uh, equipped a, a, an assault rifle yeah, yeah. with a scope. Uh, and so, a custom skin as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so you'll be able to customize your weapons, obviously, and uh, you know choose choose to fight Project Eden's Gate in style, uh, whatever style fits you best. Okay. 
Nice, Alex. Yeah. Uh, but we see like some, you know, taller grass areas, and you can, this is also a spot where you can go and hide. Mm -hmm. um, so you can really kind of uh, take some time to um, see the situation, kind of understand what's going on, um, and plan your approach a little bit more tactically. Yeah. Here, yeah. Alex is kind of just like gun, uh, guns blazing yeah. and going around. Uh, but yeah, that works too. And he yeah, has someone's been. asking actually in the chat if we can also customize the, the vehicles. Oh yeah, you're going to be oh, able yeah. to, to customize your vehicles, but also uh, your player avatar. Yeah. Um, so if you play co-op, you're going to be able to show off some cool skins that you might have. Um, but yeah, vehicles, weapons. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Take that. I have heated seats in my car, but that's probably way warmer than the heated seat. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Alex. And yeah, someone's saying uh, that the, the oh, hey, actually, our Reddit moderator, uh, is saying that the environment looks awesome. Um, we don't have the time right Ooh, now to look at the environment, that. but we have more time uh, later to, to drive around and see yeah. oh, yeah. what it looks like. Uh, oh yeah, we can give you a tour mm. of, of Holland Valley and Hope County. Yeah. Uh, we'll yeah. go back in the plane maybe at some point and yeah. just like cruise around, look at the stuff. It, it's really impressive when you're flying around and looking Ooh, at the different... <laughs> nice. Throwing the knife. <laughs> It's okay. He, he, yeah, he yeah. got it back. He got it back. Good Thanks, job, man. Alex. Thanks. Okay, so I'll post liberated. Yeah. I'll post done. Tick. <laughs> Checked. No, but oh, yeah. You're burning the. <laughs> they're burning the. There you go. The portraits. All the cold stuff gone. Yeah. Raising the flag. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so basically we just liberated that location from from the 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 project at Ian's Gate. Um, so we're gonna see a lot of different people coming in and kind of taking it back and preparing for fighting back against Project Eddie's Gate. The goal is really to build your own resistance however you want, uh, in like which order guys. you want. Yeah, those guys. See, those guys look like fellow, uh, fellow fighters. Oh. Uh, so you can speak to them, they might give you some intel. And you can uh, hire them? You can hire them. So Alex just recruited two new recruits, mm -hmm. um, wearing a badass Eagle t-shirt, obviously. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Uh, you can give them some orders, you can kind of direct them, uh, yeah. they'll really follow your play style as well. So if, if you're playing more in a stealthy approach, um, they'll try and take some cover, and once you open up fire, then they're really going to be there to help you out. Yeah, oh, and nice. I don't know if you just saw before, uh, Alex picked up the hunting review uh, yes. magazine. That, magazine? Yeah, that, that gives you a tip for hunting spots, right? Hunting spots, yeah. yeah. So there are really like a, lots of different items that give you some context and some information. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, the kind of the way now that the game will open up is really through uh, ex exploration and discovery. So yeah. we want players to just go around, um, you know, go in pretty much every house, kind of look under mm -hmm. every, every bed or every area to find those information. Because you might find, obviously, information about uh, hunting spots, fishing spots, but you also may find, I don't know, a new weapon, uh, a new tool to help you out in your quest, or just someone that needs help and that you mm -hmm. might recruit afterwards. Yeah. There's a cool question, an interesting question from uh, from the chat. Uh, is there really no map? Ah, they mean a uh, mini map. Oh. Yeah, the mini. On I think the, they're the asking screen. about the on mini the map. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This time around, we changed for a, for a compass. Uh, so if you if at we go back to gameplay, screen. yeah, we'll see mm -hmm. at the top of the screen. It really shows like uh, all the coordinates. It will show you the quest markers and all the information that you need. Um, but we also have a world map. So if we, <laughs> oh, that's. <laughs> Okay. That's the what is we, need to, we need to talk about that weapon for a bit. Um, we talked about customizing your own stuff. Uh, Alex, can you bring out what? So, if we just stop for a moment and just enjoy the beauty of that paint job, uh, <laughs> it's like super retro. It's kind of an homage to uh, Rex Power Cult for me. It's blue, pink. Um, uh, anyway, it's just pure awesome, and it's yeah. got a silencer on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Check So yeah, no, keep keep talking probably. So yeah, we're talking about the uh, that, that that weapon that you just uh, picked, and there yeah. are also melee weapons. I don't know if like yeah, yeah. You, you saw them, but at some point there yeah. was a baseball bat. So we just um, have to do a, a quick uh, mic change, but uh, <laughs> Matthias can uh, keep talking about. What yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, I was just saying the melee weapons. There was a um, there was a baseball bat on top of a crate, which yeah. you can also use either takedowns, melee fights, or just even like throwing it. Yeah. So, so where are we in... Ooh, what, what was that guy in the middle of the field? What, what, what is this thing in the, in the air? <laughs> They're shooting, but the, an helicopter came out uh, of nowhere. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. wow. Oh. What? Did you anticipate the helicopter oh, was going to go? Almost. 
Yeah, maybe you need to go closer. If you... Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Yes. I didn't think it would hit. I was like, it's going to be <laughs> just missing. Close call. Nice one. Oh, yeah, we never know what the, the, the cop is going to throw at us. Like, we yeah. saw a copter, there could be a plane, there could be a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. See? And obviously, some weapons are better than others. Oh, yeah. For the helicopter, yeah, for the sure. rocket launcher was the best. And we're seeing, uh, you know, um, oh. Alex took it out with an RPG. And his guns for hire actually, uh, right now, are equipped. Whoa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the shovel, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. His guns for hire, I think, are assault based right now. Alex, I don't know. Uh, if I you have know. a sniper rifle. A sniper. With me and, uh, so no. every guns for hire have a different kind of skill set or a different uh, tactical uh, use. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll find maybe, or you, you'll be able to hire like assault rifles, mm -hmm. but also RPG. Okay. And another mic another check. Mic check. My other gun prior is dead. <laughs> he oh, got killed. Oh, that's oh, yeah, why. Yeah, I was wondering. That's why he's not showing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You lost a guy. That's good because there are only two seats in this uh, truck. Yeah. So. Exactly. So the guy, the gun prior, is gonna, he gonna, gonna go in the, the truck with you. Yeah, he could have. The, the second one could, could have. have gone in the in the yeah. back of the truck. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I've seen that before. So I have we'll a bit of a driving you. to do. So I guess it's time for the raffle. Oh yes, absolutely. We did say that we would give away some uh, some merch at the and beginning uh, of the stream. When, when did we arrive? It's the U.S. Uh, Auto Outpost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's another location that's being taken over by by the cult. Um, we see Alex. He's trying more of a stealthy approach right now, which is good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is, which is really good. <laughs> uh, no, but I like playing stealth. Honestly, that's that's my favorite part because then you see kind of all the interactions of the yeah. of the AI of the NPCs. Uh, you get to really plan your attack. I prefer this kind of outpost. I prefer playing stealth because if you get undetected, you get extra bonuses. So you get like more money. Uh, so then if you want to customize your weapons or anything, then it's easier for you. Um, there's also some, some challenges in the game mm -hmm. that lets you unlock some perks. Okay. Um, uh, so we can maybe look at the perk menu right after. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, so the challenges, uh, there's different categories, obviously, but like stealth kills, takedowns, mm. melee kills, explosives, uh, explosives yeah. all that sort of stuff. So depending uh, if you want to really try and complete all those challenges and kind of <gasps> get all of the perks, the available perks. Oh, yeah, oh. the shovel. This is, I call it the happy shovel. <laughs> Obviously, like I mean, the only yeah. happy person right now is Alex. <laughs> I don't think this guy is really happy, but it's and the so resistance. nice. Mm. I mean, come on. Getting a kill with a smile. But what yeah. I think is interesting here it. is also yeah, yeah, let's throw it. Uh, the, the, the gun for hire uh, is also stealth. Yeah. So yes. he's following your, your style. Oh, yeah, right? your command. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice kill. Nice. Oof. Uh oh. oh. Got detected. Oh. No. So is he gonna? Oh, okay. I, I think the I think the stealth over yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, we're done. <laughs> so at this point, the, the yeah, the guns for hire will start uh, kind of taking over. Mm. So Alex, uh, really tactically placed his guns for hire yeah. uh, on different vantage points, yeah, which you see, is you see yeah, you the see the red, red dot. That yeah, was yeah. him. So okay. he's, he's trying to look for targets. Yeah. Um, Oops. Alarm is called. <laughs> okay, so whenever an alarm is called, that means reinforcements will be coming in. Like this big truck over there? Oh. Yeah, and then yeah. we see Alex smartly playing some proximity mines. <laughs> oh, oh, already. oh, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> I don't know who who <laughs> shot it or if there's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we have uh, the... Oh, and we do have the winner for the... Yeah, for, for the, the raffle. raffle. Uh, he or she is called Digital Daigar. Daegor. 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 Congratulations. Daegor. Yep. Enjoy the swag. Yes. Hope you like it. We're going to send you a private message to check out the uh, postal address and send you out the package. All right. Uh, we got a question from Protocol Rain asking if there will be night and day cycles in the game. Uh, yep, they are. Uh, so right now, I think it's, it's almost the sun is almost setting. So we'll see. We'll see a bit soon. Uh, you know, the nighttime, mm -hmm. which is really cool. W really cool. It really changes the approach. Uh, you're really a bit more stealth. Uh, the, you know, the NPCs will see you a bit less. Um, looking if there's any other questions in there. Uh, would there be uh, night day cycles, maybe? Yeah, I just answered this oh, one. Sorry. What difficulty <laughs> options are we going to have? Um, so Blake Duckers uh, <laughs> is asking, what difficulty options are we going to have? I love a challenge. Well, you're going to be served. Uh, I mean, there's a, a three, 
three or four, I can't remember, but I think at least three, uh, easy, medium, and hard. Easy, medium, and and hard, yeah. hard is pretty damn hard. Um, and the cool thing is, uh, depending on, as, as you progress to the, through the game, uh, it's going to get harder and harder. Uh, meaning that the, the NPCs will gonna, are going to get you know, beefier, they're going to be tougher to, to kill. Um, and and you're also there's going to be more of those like heavy units kind of going your way. Um, in John Seed, John Seed has also recruited some special forces, which we call the Chosen. Okay. And those are the Chosen ones. And those ones are really made for a strong battle. And they might even chase you uh, through an airplane or an helicopter. So, yeah. So here we... So I think we, we liberated we the assets, right? So what we could yeah. do maybe yeah. now is just look at the challenges. Uh, let's take a look at the challenge list. So all those challenge is really meant for you, and you, we see the reward is actually uh, like the star logo. That's a perk point. So anytime you complete one of those challenges, you'll get one, two, or three perk points that you can then invest into a new perk. Uh, this game w that we started, we mm -hmm. were actually we already were playing, so we already have a couple of perks equipped. Um, but there's a lot of challenges here that we we could try and complete. I don't know if the chat wants to suggest us any type of of a challenge Ooh, for that's Alex. A, that's a dangerous one. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> there are some edge shots, uh, rocket launcher kills, flamethrower kills, arrow kills. So anyway, depending on your play style, you can really try um, you know, to complete those challenges and then invest in more perk points. We can also look at the perk. Uh, so what, perk would be, uh, what would be the option for the chats if, uh, if we can... Uh, melee. Yeah, melee I would types. say melee kills melee, is, yeah, is kill. a good one. Uh, arrow kills. Bit longer, maybe uh, uh, proximity mines. Uh, yeah, C4 kills. Yeah, C4 kills. Those are all super fun. Uh, takedowns, obviously. Um, standard takedowns. Those are mm -hmm. fun. So yeah, let's suggest those takedowns, melee kills, and uh, uh, explosives. Explosives. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's try that. <laughs> and then if we look at the perks, we we're gonna see this is the whole perks menu. So you can see that there's already some stuff that we have equipped. The yellow ones. Um, so Alex is just browsing now in the different available perks. Uh, you can really invest into your different play style, uh, invest in more health, uh, you know, uh, more takedowns. Um, this is human fish, so you can <laughs> swim faster and hold your breath. Nice, per nice choice. Obviously, a wingsuit and parachuting, which we used a bit earlier. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. Maybe later we can uh, find a different perk that we want to equip for ourselves and and cause some more uh, some more stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is actually a, a quite interesting question. Uh, will the uh, AI reclaim outposts from time to time? Is it possible? There's actually a, a, a mode where you can reset the outposts in okay. the game, but AI will, will really just drive around. They will not try, if I remember, to reclaim the outposts automatically, but there will always be AI presence. Uh, so okay. you're, you need to always kind of be on your guard. There's going to be some convoys, uh, some different types of uh, you know, encounters that you're going to get. Uh, there's going to be some planes kind of flying around to kind of get you. So as you're, as you're progressing and as you're fighting against the cult, uh, they will really try and react and throw everything they got at you because they basically want to stop you. Yeah. You're, you're just a nuisance, you, you know? Nuisance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they want to get rid of you but as like soon as possible. One, once you liberated an outpost, basically it's just a resistance so took over and yeah. now is holding the outpost. Exactly, for you. Yep. Yeah. All right, okay. who's that guy? Okay, that's I, I Merle. Love their, I love their haircuts. The mullet. I, I love is a, their haircuts. Is a love, yeah, it's an amazing choice. Um, he looks straight, like, coming out of the 80s kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Should we, uh, should we take uh, the little uh, video break before, um, or just right after Merle give us the mission? After that. Right? Sure. Let's after listen to mission? what he's got to say. Yeah. Yeah. Best haircut. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, now we uh, we will be driving. Uh, we have uh, we have actually a uh, while uh, while we we'll be driving. Uh, Alex. She needs and some help. And just save the woman. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great yeah, job. You, you'll, you'll find she looks as surprised as we are. <laughs> yeah, she was like, what? <laughs> what just like, happened? Nice shot. <laughs> That's good. Oh, and we see still the car. guns for hire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is she? Will she be? Oh, nice oh no, nice to here. This guy. Oh yeah, right. this guy. So we see the night. So the full moon. <laughs> mm. Uber um, driver. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guy sits in the back. He just sits in the back. Yeah. Like she's friends. giving you the address. <laughs> she's, go a there. Back, she's a backseat driver, I'm sure. Who he, he is? He's, it's a guy. It's a, it's a guy. He, okay, yeah, it's yeah. a he. It's a he. Nice. 
Oh. Ah, you can see that's the stars. A gas station? Yeah, that's a gas station. Okay. So oh. Merle, Merle, basically, for to give you context, Merle just asked uh, the player and Alex to find his, his lost uh, vehicle, yep. which was parked right there, but I guess the cultists uh, don't want to mm. lose that vehicle, so they're yeah. just driving around. So Alex will need to jump, okay, yeah, in a pickup truck, why not? <laughs> uh, and try and chase it down. Right. So, That's why you have the uh, alert message on the top yeah, of the screen. Yeah, because it's, it's getting away, so Alex will okay. need to, to it, like, pedal to the metal. And going off-road. <laughs> Roads nice. are overrated anyway. Oh, there, you, there it is. All right, we'll see it jumping around. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> um, so, will there be, I'm just going to answer a question from the chat. Um, yeah. Will there be a cold? Uh, oh, we're losing. Okay. okay, yeah. Equi underscore two is asking, will there be a cold, snowy, or super mountainous area on the map? Um, actually, there's, there's three really distinct regions yeah. uh, in the game. Mm -hmm. um, so there's uh, the Holland Valley, which we're playing in now. It's more of a farmland, uh, kind of plains, uh, you know, uh, yeah, industry, that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and the two other regions, there's one that's really more into the Montana mountains, so really the, uh, the mountain ranges. So we can expect to see like different types of animals, yeah. different types of trees. It's a really different type of environment. Um, and there's also a, another <laughs> more... <laughs> What's happening? Great driving skills. Alex. <laughs> He's going to He's just trying to ram it, I think. When are you ordering your autopilot uh, vehicle? Oh, yeah, you can do that. You can do that here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? Where, where is... Okay, it's going to Jason escape. Going. Switch. Where is it? It's right in front it's, of you. It's falling down. Yeah. You're falling down. <laughs> it's okay. It's Good a four start. by four. Yeah. I think Alex actually got him. The guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Good yeah. job. Got the guy. It's a cool car. It's parked in a weird place. Cool yeah. Car. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Driving around that in you know Hope County, Montana, uh, definitely attracts some attention. <laughs> I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and a uh, cougar. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Suddenly, so we were talking about the wildlife. Uh, yeah. The wildlife so is I... kind of. Unpredictable, I would say, yeah. and sometimes uh, ferocious, and sometimes it's really vicious. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things uh, happening in Montana. It's really a, a very um, kind of, I don't know, a, a great place for uh, for uh, fauna and flora, yeah. obviously, also. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna see some bears, some cows, some bulls, uh, some moose, too, yeah. some, some elks. Some turkeys. Some, uh, some very aggressive And very turkeys. fast turkeys. <laughs> like, seriously, you don't want to face a group of turkeys. Uh, they're pretty wild. They're really yeah. wild. I was like, uh, oh no, don't hurt the turkey. And then it started jumping. And I'm like, okay, I heard the turkey, I heard the turkey. <laughs> I think they're just like so mad about all of the years they spent Thanksgiving. You know, it's like, I'm gonna get a vengeance, you guys. Yes. I'm gonna get a vengeance. <laughs> Uh, but the more, I think the, the animal for me that's the most surprising is definitely the wolverine. Yes. The wolverine, and I did some research because um, it's, it's one of the, those little animals that you don't expect them to be so that aggressive. aggressive. Yeah, yeah. They it are. looks cute. It looks like a, I don't know, a ferret, uh, yeah, or anything, like something yeah. you'd want in your home. But yeah. if you get half that in your home, you can't invite thing. anybody. <laughs> yeah. ah, wolverine versus the honey badger, that, that would be a tough, a really a tough, tough fight. Yeah. 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 And we did, you did very thorough research at that. I did. We've seen from the I did. <laughs> uh, it's video. super carnivorous, but actually, it's it's really because I don't know. There's uh, yes, there are some in in Montana, but there's also some here in the eastern portion of of North yeah. America. Yeah. Um, so at some point, I went on a on a trip what? and I heard a wolverine, and I was like, oh my god, what is this sound? And when I played the game, I'm like. Oh wow! It's a wolverine, it's and since then I'm super scared of wolverines. It's so like what is, what is I, that I don't mind again? sharks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's what my nightmares are made of. It's okay. seriously, yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. Yes. And, and because it's so small too, like it's really yeah, you can, it can hide like it easily. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so really you really surprising. need to listen yeah, yeah, instead of just watching. Yeah. Uh, is this first person only? So King Kama is asking if the game is first person only. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's first person only. The view. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. the view. Yeah. Um, when you're going to play co-op, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to see your co-op partner and see like all of the cool gear or weapons or anything that he's, uh, your friend, uh, you know, he or yeah. she is going to have. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a first person game. Yeah. Yeah. And same for your friend. 
I mean, he's yes. gonna see your Play. your cool yeah. gear and uh, and all. Oh that. yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. good bragging rights, I guess. Yeah. You know? yeah. I was like, oh, I, I, cool I, I found this in a cave here, or this guy gave and it to you me. And you don't like, have yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. um, you, so how it works now is, if we go back to the map just quickly, you're gonna see the fog of war. So everything seems hidden except for that one location called Falls End. Yeah. Uh, as you explore Hope County. Uh, the fog is going to actually reveal more locations, mm. more, uh, you know, and if you meet some people and get some intel, you're going to be able to kind of learn uh, more of the quests or the treasures or the loots uh, that are available. So it's really about you need to explore and you'll need to find some stuff, uh, but it's a full 3D map mm. this time around, so it's you can beautiful. really pan up, down, around, and look at different, uh, yeah, the different opportunities. So this mm. is the Hope, the Holland Valley region. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to show today the full map because I want to keep Aww. some secret. Uh, we can maybe <laughs> zoom out really quickly. <laughs> 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 Did you see? Did you see? But it's, it's big. It's really yeah. big. It's, you, yeah. you can really like spend a lot of time discovering. Mm. Um, so Alex is going to go to uh, Clutch Nixon. To Clutch okay. Nixon. Yeah, yes. we're going to meet some, some cool Clutch Nixon. So we're flying mm. around. We're back in daytime. And no more towers, like you said. It's unfogged oh, yeah. by your own actions, by your own exploration. Exactly. Yeah. So you're really discovering that world at your own pace. Yeah. You're not forced to do anything. Yeah. You're really like, it's, it's, it's a free roam. It's uh, immersive. 360, yeah. Mm. That's very cool. And a good way to see all that you know, landscape uh, yeah. is to take the plane, like you said. Like you just look around and you can see everything around you. That's really cool. So. Uh -huh. Are we? Uh oh. Okay. Are you going to try to land? Gonna land there. Oh, you're going to land, land there? You're going to try? try Do you have your pilot On license? Little now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are we expected X. to clap if you. Uh, no, make no, it? we're, we're going okay. to be good. Uh, we're going to be good. Uh, we're good. Uh, we're good. 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 Oh, nice. With, with, an arrow. with yes. an explosive tip bow, oh. bow and arrow. So okay. uh, uh, you can uh, kind of there's different modes of firing modes, yeah. different depending on your weapons. Okay. So the uh, the bow you can really have just a standard uh, arrow, but there's also a flaming tip arrow. Oh, <laughs> nice! <laughs> Keep spraying stuff. Just, like, just take not? it. <laughs> just drop it in there. Making it rain. Yeah, and That's, we can see that he's healing himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. That's the healing. <laughs> Bandage. the bandages. Well, that's cool because yeah. that was part of the challenge for the explosives. Yeah. So right. going back to the challenges the and perks. trying to learn, yeah, and get access to new perks. Mm -hmm. What is this? Okay, so Can this is basically. Wow. <laughs> well, Thanks, Alex. This is the guys Alex in not caring. <laughs> Someone in the chat was really impressed. How <laughs> did the hell that work out? With the plane. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> Um, so you have wait, a little what? red yes. icon. So the red icon over the NPC's head yeah. is sometimes when they're gonna uh, fall down, they'll go in a in a kind of down state. Mm. Uh, so there are available, and some some of the NPCs could revive them. Mm -hmm. um, so you really kind of need to stay on your guard because some enemies will not be uh, you know fully down until uh, you know maybe they're gonna get revived. So you need to watch out carefully because they might come back. But okay. you can revive your gun for hire. Yeah, and you can revive your guns for hire. You can revive your co-op partner. Yeah. And also, depending on the guns for hire that you uh, hire with you and that you recruit, mm -hmm. uh, they might be able yeah, to, to also revive you. Re revive you. Oh, yeah. right. So really it works practical. both ways. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. That's another advantage of having a gun for hire with you. Ah, playing with a guns for hire or with a friend is yeah. probably the best way to play the game for me. It's mm. so interactive. There's always something, and there's even more surprises, which we, which is for me, you know, all those what we call the Far Cry moments yeah. when you put another player or another. Uh, uh, huh. Uh, Wait a minute. What's happening, Alex? You're using a perk now? Yeah. Nice. So okay. We trap, uh, so perk. we've we've unlocked a perk which is called sabotage. Mm -hmm. So it really allows you to go and kind of sabotage or uh, put a truck in danger. And usually, <laughs> nice. That was a pig. That was a pig. <laughs> the back, yeah. This is like free bacon. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I smell it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was good. Uh, but yeah, that perk is really useful because mm -hmm. you can kind of set some traps for the NPCs. So if you yeah. see that an NPC might go to a vehicle, you uh, sabotage it and then boom, it's done. Yeah. 
So you have the fire propagation as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, we complete the, right. the mission, right? There we are. Ah, yeah. What is this? I don't think we completed, oh. the, unfortunately, the mural quest. We didn't. Uh, it would have ended here. Mm -hmm. But now we see a nice little bronze plate of uh, kind of a, how do you call that? A um, handsome fellow. Memorial. Yes, definitely a handsome <laughs> fellow. He's very sexy with his mustache. Uh, um, <laughs> But no, it's Clutch Nixon. He's a, a stunt man. Yeah, right? stunt, yeah. A, a stunt man that unfortunately died from uh, too many stunts. I would mm -hmm. say uh, <laughs> in 1977. So if we, yeah, just read yeah. the play. Oh, a nice so, eagle. Yes. Uh, one day is like the cinematic. Can you can you play the whole campaign for up? Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. the whole campaign. G2. Yeah, G G G1 one, one is asking if we can play the whole campaign co-op. Uh, yeah, indeed, you can. Yeah. Um, there's only a portion of the tutorial that you'll need to play alone. Yeah. But after the, that, the game is fully open to play and with any friend that you have. Uh, so you'll need to invite a friend over uh, into your game, and then you can really experience uh, like kind of facing uh, Hope County and the project that you gate together. Nice. All right, so Clutch Nixon here. We got a quest called the Baptism of Fire. Uh, basically, Clutch, uh, he's a legend born in fire, yeah, and he's done that 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 kind of that race al already. Yeah. So you kind of need to recreate that create yeah. that race mm. uh, in some uh, as an homage. As an homage. Yeah. Yes. An homage. Exactly. An homage. He's a legend, that guy. All right, Alex, and, let's yeah, go. Yeah, in Hope County. Let's do this. I would like to see a cosplay of Clutch Nixon, actually, with okay. his mustache and like a <laughs> bandana. That would be amazing. <laughs> That's a challenge. I love because the, we already the shared all this. Yeah. They're coming from the we car on purpose, right? Yes. It's part oh, yeah, of the yeah. stunt. And it's talking about stunt. cosplay, you have some cosplay guys on the website. No, the plane. <laughs> the plane I crashed. Uh oh, uh oh. 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 So, okay. <laughs> I'll make it. Oh, I'm not sure on this. I'll get that was a bad the idea. I, oh. no. I think we're stuck. <laughs> 10 Are seconds okay? left. Uh, I'm, I'm going to die. I'll burn in that <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because you want to I land the plane, yeah, yeah, yeah. The plane <laughs> on the ground. the plane very conveniently uh, on the way. That's some good strategy there, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the beauty of the game. We Again, never know what the air would be pretty cool, I would say. <laughs> over, uh, a plane? over a plane would be also <laughs> amazing. All right, uh, so I don't know if Alex is going to be able to kind of go around the plane. Oh, it's oh, it done here. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Because you reset the mission. Yep. Nice. Oh, yeah. oh, I like those little ramps. Yeah, so you're going, you know, in a like a dirt road. Um, and we see the sprinklers there, mm -hmm. kind of like helping uh, Alex not get on fire. No, it's the opposite, isn't it? I thought it's like no, because, giving... Be, oh. No, because your car is on it's fire. It's fire. Right. So you need the, yeah, the yeah. water to yes. pull you down. Exactly, exactly. Ah, it's like so a if you nice don't race against time, yeah. kind of race against time kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. like self-sabotaging your car basically yeah <laughs> but it also means that if you if you uh, go off track then you don't have the water so you so you also lose because exactly. you're because your car is on fire yeah yeah oh. clutch was a very uh, like a showman yeah, you know, yeah he, definitely. He, he knew how to do a nice a nice spectacle mm. nice oh, yeah. big jump daredevil that's All right, so I'm going to take a for. question from the chat as we... Oh, wait, we're just going to... Oh, the finally... We've basically, <laughs> uh, obviously, the game is set in Hope County, Montana. Mm. Uh, it's a fictional county in Montana. So we really recreated a whole brand new uh, county in Montana. Uh, we try to kind of represent what Montana is, uh, you know, from the vegetation, yeah. the biomes, uh, the types of animals that we have. Uh, but all the locations that you're going to find is not something that you can find in real Montana, obviously. You had a team actually going in Montana oh, yeah. to, to do some uh, hope mm -hmm. and Yeah, like, take we went actually a couple that. of times and yeah. it's, it's a really beautiful state. Uh, seriously, I, we all fell in love. The, the moment we stepped out of the plane, it was so gorgeous. It's Everything feels open. Uh, it's super... Um, how can we say it? Raw, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, vi and visceral still. Like it's really, it feels like <laughs> nature is still kind of the <laughs> in control. Yeah, in control and the most powerful thing. And that's what we wanted to recreate. Like there's, uh, you know, with all the animals and the forests and the vegetation, mm. uh, that's the feeling that we kind of wanted to get back from the game. Yeah. Because uh, that's what we felt when we went to the trip. Actually, mm -hmm. we're going hunting right now, no? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I think we're gonna have that uh, Montana feel. Nice. Yeah. While hunting. Sure. That's cool. What weapon are you going to use for to hunt, Alex? Are you uh, uh, taking the bow? The bow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the purest way of hunting. With explosive tips? Or? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just you don't want to damage the skin. Nice. <laughs> yeah, because you can sell the skin after for, yeah, for yeah. money. So yeah. if you blow your animals up, I guess you can't sell the skins. Well, I mean, 
they yeah. do schools. It's I maybe think. less valuable, let's <laughs> say, mm -hmm. if it's yeah. all, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, just nice. shooting hey, some guys. Uh, excuse on me. Your way. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were just asking for help, Alex. <laughs> Do you know where he's? Okay. So we just saw a, like a green exclamation mark. Ah, this. Those are basically treasure hunts. So mm. it's uh, you oh, know. Oh yeah, here. On yeah, the, across on the, the world, you're mm. gonna stumble upon some locations or some areas that are hiding like better treasures, uh, and we really want the players to and to be enticed and go and and try and find some some cool loot or some some cool. I don't know, different uh, character customization stuff. Yeah. Um, That's the way to do it. <laughs> what happened? It's like it a little was a yeah, people. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, okay. and Two cultists <laughs> fighting against the... Uh, yeah. Stay away from Wolverines, Alex. <laughs> we never know what they're going to do. All right, so this is... Oh, this we should definitely try and, and get. This is a, a cult uh, convoy, mm. and it's carrying some explosives uh, from across the different region. Um, so there's... <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty cool. He's... Alex is trying my... to, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. he's actually trying to kind of make it veer. Nice. Okay, so it's catching fire now. So we should, we should stay a bit at bay, no? Because it's yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, because okay. it's metal, so it's oh. going to stop at some point. All right, I'll oh, try yeah. something else then. All right. Maybe we can... Dynamite. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dynamite. But yeah, because you can cook it as well. Yeah, you can yeah. cook it and you see... Oh, oh, I think oh. you got the driver, actually. I killed the driver. Oh, no, oh, no he's oh, getting he's out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was Not like, he's getting okay. he's pissed. He's getting out, but he's dead now. <laughs> like, what's happening to my <laughs> truck? He's <laughs> going to need to call the, like, the, you know, the, the auto uh, insurance The company. towing truck? Yeah, the towing company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, who's shooting at my car? Nice. Okay, this guy so was just chilling. Civilians? Yeah, so we see, we see some, some cultists trying to kind of get or get on board some civilians mm -hmm. um the the cult is actually you know they think that uh, the end of the world is coming so they're trying to save as many people as possible save uh, save yeah they think they're doing the right thing but obviously they're not um so as a player we just rescued uh, that civilian and oh. what's cool yeah they're picking up their weapons and they're actually fighting against like along alongside you against the cult uh nice. so alex just uh, liberated her and now she's she's on she's alex's team yeah. what's her name uh, sally Sally? Sally. Yeah. All right, Sally, the guns for hire. And she's Sweet. jumping on the, she's on the jumping. TV. Yeah. It's really cool. Because oh. we lost the other guy, yeah? Right. Yeah, yeah the, the, the two other guys, because we yeah. changed, we changed yeah. games. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. Forgot that. So now we're heading to hunt. I don't know if Sally is much of a good hunter. I guess we're we'll find say. out. Yeah. Um, some some are, are worse than others at uh, hunting. So, or... No, I think they're Depends pretty... on the weapon. Though, yeah, yeah, they're just chilling around, usually, when you <laughs> hunt. Yeah, I, I think they're, they're just casually not getting in the way, usually. Okay. So I'll try to. They're looking the at you and judging you. Yeah. <laughs> Just crafting not, what? That's not how I. Would I'll try to craft hunting syringes, oh. so I can see animals from afar. Yeah. So mm. that's part of the crafting uh, loop. Mm. So Alex just crafted the hunting syringes, so he can kind of detect some animals uh, and some 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 prey mm. uh, from afar. It doesn't seem like there's much here. Maybe if there we go be. further. We have to walk um, there's also different guns for hire. There's one oh here. yeah. Uh, like bo Boomer, for example? Yeah. A wolf, yeah. Okay, I'll let Alex do that and I'll talk about Boomer right after. Yeah. It still has the explosive, the explosive thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's oh, fast. Yeah, oh, true of that. Wolf is hunting a deer or something. So. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> it's you're, a circle you're hunting of a hunter. <laughs> it's a food Great. pyramid. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. That's, that's cool. Wow. Uh, so you can have both now. Yeah, get him. Oof. Oh, no, no. No. What was he in? Oh, yeah. a deer. A deer. Okay. Yeah. Just look at <laughs> Deer skin. Yeah. We also saw a pop up for a bait. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, like FC4, you can throw a bait, which is going to attract a predator animal yeah. Yeah. Uh, to really cause chaos Jeez. in an outpost or mission. Oh, yeah. Ooh, long, so long distance shot. I love that yeah. track. Back to you. Uh, there's a question here uh, from. Uh, the Acker Fortune is it if we can disable the navigation arrows on the ground. Mm. Uh, and the floating and, and the markers, markers outside of the compass. Uh, that's actually a good question. I don't really have the answer. I don't know. I've never tested it myself, mm. uh, but maybe. Uh, I don't know. I'll, uh, we'll investigate and maybe yeah. we can go come back to you with the answer. Yeah. All right. And the next so, one stream. Someone is saying, okay, M. Sened is saying, please tell Alex he's the best Gladue. Gladue, <laughs> nice, thanks. Alex, you're the best Gladue. Amazing. And this is definitely an homage to <laughs> Maxim Gladue, who's sometimes, I guess, on some of the different events that we have. Yeah. 
Yeah, Alex. Alex is cool. It's a private developer joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have two. two for context, for everyone yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, someone is asking also, uh, is there a split screen in the game? And uh, no, no split screen. Uh, if you want to play co-op, uh, you can really play co-op, but it's, you're going to need an online uh, connection to play mm. co-op with a friend. Okay. Oh, quickly, I read gluten, and I'm like, what? Oh. Gluten <laughs> on a pig? Okay. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> yeah, those I, messages have been written by the by the Yeah, call. yeah the call Basically will go the around. Sins. Yeah, mm. exactly. And they're going to actually tag some people with their own sins. Um, so when they tag those people, oh. it means that usually like they, they have committed a sin and they recruit them and try and repent them from their sins. Okay. All right, so Sally's back in the car. <laughs> and at least she's in the uh, passenger seat, yeah. not yeah. like a like a Uber a driver. Uber, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. So and the blue arrows that we see on the ground, uh, oh yeah, like this. Yeah. Hmm. This basically means that we've set a waypoint Oof. somewhere, it's to help you. and it's really just to help you guide. Uh, you can also turn autopilot on, and it's just really going to follow the route. Mm -hmm. So All you right. can focus on something else, either like I don't know, checking your Facebook while you're driving. <laughs> uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or just watching the scenery. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy, the enjoying scenery. the view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just. Or just having a casual Talking chat with, with your, Sally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's funny because like most of the guns for hire will have different banter and yeah. will say different things uh, while you're oh, nice. driving. So they might comment on what you see or a different location. Uh, <laughs> She's like, yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sally is a bit of an impatient one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so all, even our specialist uh, guns for hire mm. will really have a lot of things to say, and they can even even talk between each yeah. other. So sometimes you'll see like. I don't know, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's some specialists that really have, you know, uh, different Connection? relationships. Oh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, it's, there's some interesting stuff in there. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll hear more soon about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we reached a... Um, whoa, okay. Yeah, there's some people that we need to What's deal with What's happening here? Oh, and that was a civilian car right yeah. behind it. Would there be a collectible to find, like, mm. like, like or? Is there a collectible supply? Ah, uh, yes, there are collectibles in the game. Um, I don't think we've stumbled upon some right now. No. Uh, but there is definitely some collectibles, uh, which are tied also to the to the story and the gameplay. Um, so it's it's super fun to just explore and try mm. and find them. So yeah, in Far Cry Five, it's also <laughs> all about the yeah. This oh, time, don't repeat the same mistake. Oh no! Oh no! No, it's okay. <laughs> we're good. All right. Wow. Sally will probably join us after. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so we got a question from DC underscore ASCII asking uh, what about character customization. Uh, we're actually going to show it uh, soon. Mm -hmm. um, it's not available in the, in the build that we have today. Uh, but you can imagine that pretty much all of the clothing that you have seen so far, it's something that you know, players will yeah. be able to customize uh, and wear. So, yeah. Yeah. Even that skin, I haven't seen it on the baseball one. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's a local uh, baseball team. Baseball, baseball team, team, yeah. yeah. Hope County Cougars? Yeah, the Hope County Cougars. Cougars. Yeah. yeah. Uh, OK, we got another question from Moria. Uh, <laughs> the real question is, can you steal that flamethrower? <laughs> uh, you can get a flamethrower. Oh, but, Sally's following Oh, us. Sally's coming back, yeah. You can definitely buy or find a flamethrower, but I, mm. I don't think Zip wants to get rid of his own flamethrower. Yeah, I don't think he would let go. I mean, you, you he, saw how he run over. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> he run over Sally, yeah, exactly. so, so I would not would try do. that. <laughs> All right, so we we just reached um, the stockyards, mm. and actually, so just to put the people in context of this mission, mm -hmm. it's um, the cult is trying some experiments on some animals. And Zip, being Zip, he's an animal lover. He loves those animals. He knows them all by name. Oh. Um, so he wants us to kind of put them out of their misery because it's really bad what they're doing to their animals. Mm. Uh, and they're not the same animals as they were. So Zip is like, okay, let's put them out of their misery um, and, and get, you know, kind of uh, uh, show those cultists that we're, uh, you know, we're on it. Yeah. And that we care about that animals. That we definitely care. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Can you? You such a long distance. Uh, oh, well. Oof. Almost. Yeah. Nice. And he's falling. Like, <laughs> the slowest, slowest possible. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so the animals are actually starting to fight oh. back. What? Okay. Those... Breaking the barriers. <laughs> what is this? What? So they like animals on fire oh, running around. Go. There you Explosions. go. Explosions. <laughs> There's a bear holding. Oh, that nice. Price. What was he doing? He was actually trying to, to kind of get rid the, of the yeah, fire. Yeah, of the fire. Yeah. 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 Smart animals, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah when we are on it. fire, we just like try to tap on our arms, but they actually roll on the floor. Way it's smarter. Yeah. So chaotic. Yeah. This. Okay, but you don't even need to do just anything. Around. You just. I, well, yeah, you, the just, show. You, you just watch them. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sally. Oh, that's Sally. Oh, that's Sally. That's Sally. Nice. Mm. Nice save, Sally. She has your mm -hmm. Okay, so now we need to get rid of these animals, though, because they're... Yeah, they're not feeling well. I know yeah, how... They're the, in pain. Yeah, I love the, how the yellow, uh, you know, icons just float around yeah, 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 yeah. thing, you know? And, and you don't know what's going to chase us, like... Yeah. Oh, Oof, okay, the, the bear. bear? Oh. Whoa. oh, yeah, it's just what? destroying everything. We might bite. Did you see the sign? No. <laughs> yeah. What did it say? It was we saying might we might bite. Nice. Yeah. Okay, this is like this is like a tank. It's going uh, and yeah. ripping across all those fences. What? Yeah. And uh, and you can see use a medic a medic med kit, kit. Yeah. A med kit. Mm. Uh, but you have to to loot them, right? Yeah. You can't just uh, heal yourself. Uh, forever. Forever. Now. Yeah. You have to well, loot your medkits. Your uh, your HP will progressively uh, fill back up. Mm -hmm. But if you're really in danger, you want to use one yeah. of those medkits, yeah. obviously. So you have to remember to find to pick them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job, Alex. So we got rid of the animal <laughs> and the cultists. So now, okay. Yes, I'm looting. Mm -hmm. uh, the, looting uh, some some of the the lootables like this. Oh, there's an ammo crate here. Yeah. Will really help you to replenish all your ammo, uh, or also uh, stock you up for any crafting that you might want to do mm. uh, in the future. Like uh, we saw Alex craft um, some, uh, some some kind syringe. of syringe, yeah, to help you out. Uh, so there's going to be plenty of, of crafting. Uh, all of the explosives as well. You can craft your own dynamite, um, yeah. and there's also different recipes in the world that you can find to reduce the amount of. Um, of ingredients that mm. you'll need to craft those elements. Mm. Ah, so yeah. you know the exact right amount of ingredients exactly. that you need, so you, it takes less, yeah. like it costs less. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh, no. <laughs> what okay, is so this? <laughs> the cultists are actually trying to <laughs> bring some cows in for other future experience, experiments, but we've just set up a trap. Ooh. No. <laughs> cows flying. <laughs> oh, no Poor way. Cows. And Zip is so mad right now. <laughs> Oh, there's one on fire. That's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. It's just everything is blazing. Just for the information, uh, Gabe, you know, uh, moderator, moderator, is just yeah. laughing yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so much right now. Oh, this is like a barbecue. Okay. Um, so I'm going to answer a question Dimitri. from the chat. Uh, Grenade Kev is asking, how do you expand your map? Is there towers you have to get like in Far Cry 3? Actually, that's a, one of the biggest changes we made in the game. Mm -hmm. There's all of that uh, kind of game structure is, is, is done. Yeah. Uh, we basically replaced it by just basically exploration. You're going to go around, explore the areas, discover some new locations, but also uh, find some magazines, uh, talk to some people, and they're going to tell you about other different locations or quest givers. And it's really how you're going to explore this. Oh, nice. That was a nice takedown. Take uh, oh. But yeah, gone are the towers. Uh, and in our uh, exploration, discovery, and getting to meet those local folks. Mm. So think, That's good, uh, because it really encourages you to talk to, to a lot everyone. of people. Yeah, 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 and get to learn a bit more about their story and their yeah. fight and their struggle against Project Aliens Gate. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take another question. Nicholas98 is asking if we're able to silence your guns. Uh, so yeah, part of the, the weapon customization, and we see Alex has a silenced weapon on hand now. Uh, if we could maybe find a shop too, we could show uh, a bit more of the, the weapon customization. But you can really add different types of attachments to your weapon. So uh, either silenced, uh, a silencer, a scope, uh, extended mags, all that sort of stuff is in. So depending on your play styles, and if you ever find that precious weapon that you like, you can customize it like however you like. So mm -hmm. that's that's really fun. See, we actually see a bit of the map in that, what you were talking about before. Like the region that we yep. we unlock and see more. Um, 
So I was talking a bit about, uh, you know, the syringe earlier. I just wanted to, to come back to that because mm -hmm. Alex had a syringe which allowed him to kind of see yeah. uh, the, the animals. On the hunting. Yes. Yeah. On the hunting. But uh, actually, Boomer, one yeah. of our specialist guns yes. for hire, he's got such a good sense of smell that when you're traveling with Boomer, he's going to detect those either enemies or animals from afar. So if you're walking around with Boomer, uh, you're going to see all those threats popping up. So he's really a good ally for this because he's constantly warning the player and warning you yeah. of a, an yeah. impending threat, you know? Tagging them. Maybe. Yeah, tagging them, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the so kills just won't true. react to him because they, they don't know he's a threat. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, he's Roaming just, dog. He's the exactly. best spy. He's such a good spy. <laughs> and so everybody cute. loves nobody, dogs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nobody, everybody nobody wants attention. a pet him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Oh, Kachi. Yeah, and we can hear the music on the way. Ooh, that running. I think the driver is still alive. Yeah? Hello. So back. Uh, no. <laughs> Where's Sally? <laughs> Just in case. I left her at the other place. <laughs> Another okay, car. So that Sally is with, uh, with Zip? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's going to be for an awkward conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so remember you when you run me over? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. No, it doesn't Are you sure it was you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and we can see the the big yes on the mountain. Yeah, the motto of the of the cult. Exactly, power it's of the yes. Yeah, it's actually the motto of John C too. He's really into. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's okay. The that's, chase. Yeah, it's a chase. Yeah. Okay, so we're driving back to Falls End, uh, mm. which is one of the communities in the game. Yeah. Um, so in the game, there's going to be uh, the three different regions, but all, there's also some communities to discover, and communities are like major points of interest where there's going to be a lot of things that you can do. You can uh, buy some stuff, you can uh, meet some new quest givers, yeah. uh, there's also some good loot. Um, so we're going to see some here mailboxes. some mailboxes. <laughs> okay, so one fun thing about mailboxes is uh, you Ooh, can actually, anecdotes. yeah, <laughs> you can actually, uh, uh, let's yeah, say I'm, I'm playing with you yeah, and you're my co-op partner and we're driving around. Yeah. I can be like <laughs> leaning out of the passenger seat and just swinging at all those mailboxes <laughs> with a like the happy shovel that we saw earlier, yeah, yeah, yeah. or the baseball bat, or anything else. Uh, it really makes it super fun. It's yeah. not it's not part of their game mode yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's just like just for pure fun. An option. So see, we have the whack, um, uh, like paddle, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, can you customize your bow? Also? Yeah, you can customize your bow. Let's customize the bow right after. Mm. So different skins, different attachments, uh, silenced, yeah. uh, you know, scopes, extended mags. So really, you can. Pimp your own your own gun, really? basically. Uh, but yeah, all the categories are there: sidearms, the shotguns, the assault rifles, uh, sniper rifles, and then some more special exotic mm. weapons like the bow, the flamethrower with the flame. Oh yes. That's a nice. We one. even saw a fishing rod. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's customize it. Yeah, you can customize it definitely. You can. Everything. Ah yeah, there's some really cool ones. Uh, the artist that, yeah, the artist <laughs> that did the weapons did a really amazing job. Yeah, the paddle oh, with the whack. Man. Whack. That's exactly, you know, it's like that old school Batman yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, TV show. Like, Bang. Wang. Yeah, exactly. It's cool. <laughs> We're going to have a, a sneak peek at the spread eagle bar and have some like a barception. <gasps> <laughs> Whoa. This is where we are. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> I don't know what you But they have chips happening. in there and we don't. Like, yeah. I'm feeling hungry right now. <laughs> I want to eat some chips. But wait, we. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Some poutine, maybe. Oh. No. Yes. Only at lunchtime. <laughs> yeah. Right before the stream. Um, really? There's also, Not like, you can. Uh, yeah, yeah, here we're, we're seeing the church. So this, is, this was part of the E3 demo. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is where Pastor Jerome, Jerome is staying. This is where also Mary May is staying. Mm. Um, you can hop on the quad, like meet Pastor Jerome and all, all those other characters. Um, yeah, so it's all part mm. of the, you know, the story of how they're fighting against Project Aliens Gate. You're basically coming into this county as a bit of a, you know, you're one of the new recruits of the sheriff. Um, and you're coming in this county to arrest the father. That's the first thing that your first mandate as a, a recruit is yeah. this. Uh, but something goes wrong and you're kind of put into the midst of this fight against the locals and also the project at Ian's Gate and it's really how you're gonna like who you're gonna recruit how you're gonna save them um, and how you're gonna fight against uh, the project at Ian's Gate. So it's uh, daylight again, sun rising. So uh, oh, yes, it looks beautiful. gorgeous. M beautiful the colors. Golden, golden hour. Yeah. yeah you can really feel the colors. Yeah. Is that a oh yeah that's a tractor with a mulcher in front of it? 
Okay, oh. so this this is like. <laughs> I wonder what you can do with this. This is like a T Rex on wheels with its no. big jaw. No, oh, no. God. oh, oh God. Alex, why? <laughs> but okay, let's use that against Project Adin's Gate. Yes. Please, cultists, let's do that. Let's find some cultists and mulch them. Oh, I think there's a truck coming. Enemy? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's a big oh, truck. Maybe it's a, a big too big. An explosive one. Yeah. Would not be such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it was. With the knife. Um, so I, I'm going to uh, answer a question from Forbidden Tech. Yes. Uh, how much does the game follow its predecessors with pulling, putting stealth option at the heart of the gameplay choices? Um, yeah, like all the previous Far Cry's, it's really up to you to kind of define how you're going to play this game. Uh, you could play full assault rifle, full like long range if you oh, prefer, you. or full stealth. Um, and what's fun is all the guns for hire are really going to adapt. Uh oh, are really going to adapt um, to to your play style. And th for this time around, we really wanted everything to kind of feel like a weapon or a toy. Uh, so we see now vehicles like that tractor feels really like a weapon or a toy. Um, there's another mission which we call the, the Widowmaker. And the Widowmaker is actually like a big semi-truck oh, that you yeah. can use almost like a, a, a battering, battering ram, you yeah. know, like d uh, destroying stuff. Roadblocks. And, yeah, and yeah. It's even equipped with machine guns on it. So, I mean, this is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, you can actually, for the first time, <laughs> get it. Oh, yeah. so like you had to yeah. shoot the, the ladder. Yeah, and then it opens up, and then we can... Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a beehive. Oh, oh, yes. oh those little... Yeah. What so those are really that? sneaky because oh. mm -hmm. you don't you don't necessarily see them, yeah. but you hear them. You hear the buzz, uh -huh. and it's really vicious. It's really mm. it always takes you. So now you have to run. It's like the Wolverine. I think it's okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. You don't necessarily see when it. When you destroy the nest with fire, you're good though. So <laughs> Stop scaring me, Matthias. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Ooh. love this. Like Crazy. Yeah. telling a story yeah. and yeah. little yeah. notes. Cool. And That's the kind of place where money. I want to go to retire. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, pretty cool. Fishing. Well, well, as a kid, you know, hunting. just Trip. <laughs> like a survival. Oh, how do you access? Ah, uh, you need to climb that. So you, you really need to do like to pay attention to your surroundings and yeah. all the little yeah, audio. Or That's cool. So looting aids. Very cool. Um, someone is ask. Someone is asking. Uh, it's Roy, four one one four. Is asking if you shoot one of the villagers, is the entire village comes after you and tries to kill you like in Far Cry 2? <laughs> they're friendly and forgivers. Uh, actually, um, obviously, you don't want to mess too much with the resistance because they're well equipped usually. Mm -hmm. um, so if you shoot one, they might kind of forgive you, but then as you do it more, uh, they'll really erupt and you kind of need to go away for a few yeah, minutes, kind of mm. let them cool down, and then you can come back. And it's okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, because just before uh, the live stream, we, uh, we went uh, just hunting to, to rehearse, and uh, I don't know, Alex had a good idea to, give <laughs> to <laughs> shoot the lady <laughs> there, oh. and she had a dog, and then the dog attacked us. What? Yeah. Uh, so uh, like, don't mess with my yeah, human. No. <laughs> So, the so they can definitely retaliate if, uh, oh, if, yeah, they're, yeah. If, if they're unhappy with you. Oh, we have this so that's, a run. that's a nice uh, little open uh, engagement. And you just gave Sally an order, an, an order. to yeah. shoot at the enemy. Oof. Oh, smoke, smoke grenade. Bomb. Nice. Oh, the whack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so he was a VIP, so just a bit harder yeah. to kill. Uh, so we get more uh, resistance points like mm -hmm. we saw um, as you progress through the game and you either complete some missions, save some civilians or kill some VIPs, your resistance gauge is going to like fill up and that's going to be the moment where you're kind of, uh, John Seed is going to uh, you know, retaliate and the cult yeah. is going to start fighting back. Okay. I love seeing that whack. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is that fishing? Oh, some fishing. No, there's a fisherman. I mean, you can fish because it's a river, right? You oh, just yeah, need to find for the ripples. Yeah, exactly. Ah. But all fishermen also have, uh, and all sh um, hunters also ha um, are shopkeepers. So they always mm. have some oh. goods on them that you can kind of trade or sell or, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So if you're kind of far away from either community or a, a real shop, yeah. you can still find those guys in the open world. 
and it'll help you in your uh, in your fight to refill some ammo or some med packs. Mm. Okay. And they also talk to you. Oh yeah. They give you some insight. Yeah, they talk to you about about what's Anything. happening around them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and their fight against Project Alien's Gate. Oh, nice. Some fishing. Why not? Time fishing, to relax. Oh, see Sally <laughs> swimming. She's gonna scare the fish away. No, she's trying to hunt by hand. Yeah, exactly. She's a real. I yeah, got she's it. A, she's, she's a, a real, real Montana girl. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She knows how this works. Nice. What? What? Nice. Did it jump it, out? It jumped out. out. Yeah. Wow, that's a strong one. It's like, nope, yeah. it's not coming. Yeah, hopefully it's a nice catch. I mm. hope it's not like a really <laughs> tiny, tiny little fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hey. a big one. That's hey. It's a good one. Paddlefish. Good job. 80 pounds? pounds? Yeah. Wow. That's the biggest scene, I, the biggest fish I have ever seen. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take a question. So yes. Official Paths is asking, uh, how many guns for hire can you recruit at once? Uh, you can actually have two uh, in your squad. Uh, whether it's a guns for hire or a friend for uh, for hire, which is basically a co-op partner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a real really friend. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We all like to play with friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's two. Um, same for thing for hire. Yes. They count. Mm -hmm. same. Yes. And honestly, there's nothing more, I don't know, in, um, enticing than taking a walk with Boomer or any other thing for hire that we have that we have not shown yet. Uh, but it's so cool to just walk around like with those fangs for hire. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. I'm Are not you sure that the, the paddle whack the helicopter. <laughs> Through the paddle. Oof. <coughs> yeah. Nice. nice shot. Wow. There you go. I love the uh, the, oh, the they got smoke Sally? effect. Yeah. Oh no. Aww. I'll revive her though. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. You can revive your. Uh, there you go. Gun for hire. Yes. And they can revive you. And they yeah, can revive exactly. you. Maybe we can open up the map and see where we could go next mm -hmm. as we conclude. So we can see uh, Ryan Sons Aviation. Yeah, that's, that's where you find Nick Rye. Nick Rye. Famous. Don't need to go and there. And we see all the, the fog that you've uncovered. Maybe we could go and uh, check out maybe the um, fertilizer store. Uh, yes. So yeah, let's drive there and. Oh. I'll answer some more questions and then we can maybe wrap this up. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so there's a question from Dr. Modalas. Nice name. I love that. <laughs> uh, do both players keep story progress in co-op mode? Um, actually, because it's a shared world and you're inviting a friend for hire over, mm -hmm. um, only the host will be progressing story. The client will get back all of his XP, all of his challenges, all of his perks, all of his money, all of his weapons that you will find, or he or she will find, back in his, back in his game. Mm -hmm. But the story will be the same, because we want players to be kind of in control of their own story. So if you invite a friend over, you're going to progress your own story, and then uh, that other friend could invite you over as well to kind of progress it in a different way. Uh, and you would have a completely, a completely different, different experience. experience. Yeah, different exactly. Different missions, different... Things. Exactly, yeah. Like a different way to approach the, the, the campaign. Yeah, and the map might not be kind of opened up the same way, and yeah. you might have found different intel, uh, met different characters, have different guns for hire as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we really wanted players to kind of feel like it's their own yeah. their own game and their own uh, environment. Yeah. But everything you earned during that progression, you keep it. So that's yeah. the best of both worlds. Yeah. <laughs> and the, key, the truck just keeps rolling. Uh, so someone oh, is asking, so oh, Sally. Sally again, taking some oh, damage. There you go, supply vehicle destroyed, giving you some resist resistance points. Someone is asking, uh, Mr. Crack Donut is asking, why is the crosshair not vertically centered, and will we be able to change that? That's actually a good question. It's the first time I, I've, I've seen that. Uh, I don't know actually. So if you can change that, I wouldn't be too sure. I, I don't know if we can measure it. I don't know if it's fully centered. Anyway, we can ask, and we'll come back to you. Yeah. Uh, I honestly don't know the answer to that. Yeah, the question for the next live stream. Yeah. We love Sally. Another treasure hunt. <coughs> but it's good. So where, where are we driving now? To a fertilizer uh, outpost. Mm -hmm. OK. Enjoying some music, enjoying the view. 
And I guess even these outposts have also their story and purposes for the, for the cult. Oh yeah, for right? sure. They control these key locations for yeah. a reason. They seize those locations really for either uh, stocking some supplies, uh, or it's a really nice strategic point for them to kind of hold and prepare against any incoming wave of, you know, uh, the sheriffs or yep. any deputy coming your way, like like you as a player. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it, it, they, you know, the cult is is mean, but they're smart in their own way, I guess. Oh, was that there was a, a smoke, smoke bomb? bomb. Nice. And what uh, was that? Proximity mine? The yeah. Oh no, and Sally. And Sally next to it. Oh, phew. Okay. Okay. They're everywhere. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice shot. So this time around, you can really lean out oh, from vehicles, more. so to yeah. really take a better shot. Yeah, like outside well, of the you're, window. When you're driving, yeah. Yeah. Or That's even when you're riding shotgun, yeah, you could be just uh, uh, leaning out and yeah. kind of uh, aiming at uh, some enemies. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, cool. I don't know if we've uh, done that one. Can <gasps> thanks for higher. Uh, Thanks for Hire Revive you. Ah, that's a good question. I've never... Boomer. Yeah, I Boomer think Boomer can revive, can revive you. you, huh? Yeah, so Boomer can revive you. So, yeah. <laughs> mm. Just bite you those, until you wake up. And for those that were asking before, I think, uh, you know, like, yes, you can pet Boomer, mm. but you can also pet all of the other dogs that you see. So if you're ah. really a dog lover ah. and you like different types of dogs, there's yeah. a lot of dogs that want and will be really willing to receive some more <laughs> human love in this game. That's great. That's the perfect Yeah, well, you spot. can see that we yeah. have uh, Sally hovering uh, our left, right? Yep. Yeah. I told her to go there. Mm -hmm. She'll wait for my action before engaging the enemy. And you can zip line to the top of the, uh, the building once you've tagged all the enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to uh, make it stealth? Oh, no, I'm gonna nice. try it. I'm gonna try it. Okay. Zip lines are so satisfying. Uh huh. Oh. Sniper. So yep. we see different classes of AI. This one, because he's got like a kind of a reticle or a scope mm -hmm. over his head, means he's a sniper, uh, sniper type guy. So you'll want to make sure that you spot them early because okay. those see the players and everybody else from a really far away. Okay. Um, so oh. if you take them down first, usually that's a really good strategy. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not sure if this guy kind of saw Alex. He almost saw it. He almost like saw it. Like it almost Alex, reached yeah, yeah, the... Yeah. Alex is play what? playing with fire. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's funny because they can be inside the buildings, so preventing you from tagging them yeah and then as, as you fun. fight you realize okay, you hadn't it. seen him yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, th there's actually a perk that lets you kind of uh, tag them even though they're inside oh that's pretty useful uh oh i think he just yeah triggered yeah, the, the alarm, alarm oh, yeah. started yeah. oh nice <laughs> whack and with the whack from above it's great oh he's gonna try to revive, yeah, he's his, gonna friends. revive his friend oh yeah if you can do it they yeah, can do it yeah i mean that's just fair yeah, exactly. <laughs> but at least Alex saw it. Mm. He's on point. The um, the rate of fire on the Uzi is so fast yeah. that if you miss, it, your clip is already empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Illuminant360 is saying, when I play, I'm going to prioritize protecting Boomer. I don't want him to die once. <laughs> if anything moves, I'll empty the whole mic into it. Into it. Awesome. I'm, I'm with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Mm. Ah, and you have the alarm on your right. Huh. Tentacle Friend is even, even saying, it wouldn't be an authentic Montana experience if you couldn't pet dogs. And I agree. I agree. Yeah. Were there a lot of dogs in uh, Montana? I think. Uh, yeah, we saw a lot of dogs, uh, especially mm. with the hunters. Oh, hunters yeah. Hunters are always accompanied by their trustworthy dog because they smell some, you know, potential targets or yeah. uh, bring them back even. Mm -hmm. And oh, Boomer mm. can even do it. Boomer, if you go hunting for like uh, birds, yeah. he's going to bring back your kills. Yeah, oh, that's, oh, yeah. that's nice. I know that. Uh, Sorry, it was just for guns. No, <laughs> he does have the guns too. Uh, but yeah, and Boomer can also loot. Uh, certain items, so you don't need oh. to actually go and loot yourself. Boomer is going to do it for you, so okay. fairly useful. Yeah, very, very useful. useful and cute. So and yeah. super that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> from Equitu. Also, pressing question, Bigfoot, yeah or nay? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see later. Wow. Oh, did you just throw it? Yeah. Oh, oh. so close. Almost. And that's Sally, yeah, oh, helping Sally. you. Oh, there you are. God. That is so cool. She's right at the right, right time. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, and that's the end. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> just for good measures. Good job, Alex. <laughs> nice. Yeah, well done. Oh, yeah, and now our post is liberated. And you have the, uh, the resistance coming in to retrieve it. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's really cool how every time like they, they, they remove all the symbols of the cult mm -hmm. and bring back their own. Ah. And then it becomes a location for you. Yeah. Very cool. Family uh, for that inevitable collapse. Now, it looks pretty peaceful right now. It is. Well, we're in, uh, we're in Falls End, which is one of the communities, one of the towns in the game. Uh, it's just been liberated gotcha. uh, by Alex, who's, who's playing the game. Um, it's Shout out to it, Alex, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> in the Twitch chat, I want to see you throwing up the claps. Alex is over there. If he dies, give him the thumbs down. Yeah, you know, uh, when we decided, you know, we want to bring Far Cry to America, it's, you know, there needs to be some level of believability. It sure. needs to feel like the world is lived in. We're walking around the house here sort of showing a typical Americana. Uh, there's not a lot of people in the town right now because, like I said, they're all been kidnapped. And so it's up <laughs> to the player. That will bring down population. Yeah, yeah. It's up to the player to, to, to sort of... Uh, bring the communities back, build sure. a resistance, build, a, build an, uh, an army to, to fight against the cult. Was it a tough decision for you guys to come to America? Uh, I don't think so. It, it's something that uh, the team has really been wanting to do for, for a while. Uh, the question really was, you know, what's, a, what's a space that feels far cry-ish? Right. You know, we, we've been to... We, we, we've been to Kairat, we've been to you know, the, the islands in Far Cry 3. We've gone back in time. Yes, we have gone back in time <laughs> to, to Primal. Uh, but I, I think you know, trying to find a space that felt uh, dangerous, a little bit unexplored. Sure. Uh, a place that, that just feels like a, like a wilderness, like a frontier. That really is Montana. You know, right. We sent a team up there to sort of do a little investigation. Uh, do some recon, and immediately they, you know, they fell in love with it. They said, you know, the people, the the landscape, everything sort of feels very remote and Far Cry-ish. And then it became, okay, well, what's a cool villain that could, could sort of? Well, that's what's fascinating for me, be, being a Far Cry fan, right? Yeah. Is the fact that I'm a fan of America as well, <laughs> and I wanted you guys to do something here. Yeah. But Far Cry doesn't work in Chicago. Yeah. You know, what, what, what are you going to skin in Chicago to make a wallet? It doesn't, you know, <laughs> rats. That's not, not yeah, all. Yeah, not a lot you know, of yeah. uh, bears. Not a lot of wolves. Yeah, exactly. Chicago. But the rats are pretty big in Chicago. Exactly. I, I know. Say. I know. Shout out to Boomer. There he is. There he is. Good boy. I have a little plush of him right here. <laughs> you don't see it yet, but I'm petting it. There it is. There it is. Uh, Pre-release run up like this that's had so many characters already identifiable, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think Far Cry in the past obviously has been very. It's been known for its villains, right? Yeah. Boss, Pig, and Min. Like it's, it's very much been about you versus the villain. This time around, we wanted to, to bring the community into the fold, bring your the, your friends, your allies, the people who are going to fight with you against yeah. this cult. Mm -hmm. How can we showcase them? You know. Building people like Mary May, who uh, owns the Spread Eagle, uh, that will walk. Has she thought it. about changing the name? Well, because it's so a great name, but it does. Oh, there's a connotation to it but that the I don't. The thing is, you know, it's I don't, I don't it's that sort of, you know, the, uh, the 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 bar was named by her father, who uh -huh. you know wasn't maybe the most PC guy, a little bit maybe a bit of a misogynist, <laughs> an asshole. But the thing is, you know, you, you talk to Mary in the game, you get a, a bit more of her backstory, and and I think you know, for her, she's like, yeah, I hate the name of this bar, I think it's stupid, nice, but at the same time, it's it's part of my dad, so. That conflict of like you know, if I change the name, am I am I sort of, it's part of getting rid of sure something? Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, you know, people people are complicated, people are complex. And so, so that's her. Wait, who's Casey Seagal? Casey Seagal. <laughs> <laughs> Of the oh, spreading. you guys are the worst. <laughs> so if you, if you, oh man, if Nick Scarpino was watching this, he'd be like, I'm just the cook. You know, a Casey lowly, lowly cook. Casey will give you some nice All I can say is he'll send you on some hunting missions, uh, and he'll also drop really some wisdom bombs. Mm. Does he talk? Does he do the I'm just the cook? The lowly, lowly cook oh, line? Oh, he's just a cook. All right, okay. But does he say it? I want him to say it at some point in this video. Don't ruin the whole thing. I gotta buy it. I gotta buy it. When it comes out next Doesn't matter if he says it, he's got the hair. So. Mary's role is giving out quests, keeping you in grain. Like yeah, the, she, but she's one of your partners too. Yes, she's yeah. one of the one of the, the members of the community. She's one of the community okay. leaders. So, uh, 
the people that you meet in the game, they're, they're all a member of the resistance, right? Yeah, they're all sort yeah. of trying to fight back against the cult. Mary, Pastor Jerome, they're sort of sending you out on quests to say, hey, people have been kidnapped, or we need these convoys taken down, or, 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 or I, need, I need a truck, that, or my sure. dad's truck to take them back. Mm -hmm. Then there's guns for hire that you'll meet as you explore the world, people like Grace Armstrong, or, or Nick Rye, oh. you, know, you showed off in, in So what's the, the difference resistance. between res resistance and guns for hire? The guns for hire are part of the resistance, but okay. the thing is the guns for hire, they're going to be your persistent buddies throughout the world. Okay. So Mary and Jerome yeah. are always going to stick around oh, okay. the end. Drew, you shut up now. <laughs> Look who it is. It's Jerome <laughs> Jeffries, everybody. Yeah, Round of baby. Applause. Martin Roach making yeah, his debut here. Yeah, baby. Wrath, fury, vengeance, we saw it all. That's you. But you did that. But I'm all in you, too. That's a beautiful voice. <laughs> I can't tell if if Pastor Jerome would have made me go to church more or made me go to church less if, if church he greeted me with like a shotgun though. at the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, see, Pat, he's not about making you go to church. He's just making you think about it. Okay, that's all he wants to do. <laughs> Spiritual thing, shall we say. Where do we find Pastor right now? Where do you find him right now? This is his church. Yeah. This is, this is his place. But unfortunately, as you can see, uh, it's been devastated. Yeah. Uh, this, this place has been looted, desecrated, town, everybody's been kidnapped. So now he's at the place where he's fighting back. Okay. He, he didn't want to be here. This is this was the fight that was brought to him. How, uh, how far do you go to get into that headspace, Martin? I mean, like, is the backstory? What what is the backstory for the pastor? I fight that every day. Oh God. <laughs> no, okay, no, no, no. Uh, to get the backstory for him, we go back what 20 years? Yeah. I guess. Oh wow. Back, back to the uh, first Gulf War. But he is he's a vet comes home, he wants to find some peace, find a place. A lot of vets don't find that. So he goes to a place where he can find it, the wide opens of Montana. And then here comes this cult, and they're slowly ripping it away. They're sure. ripping away his community. He's helped build his community. He's one of the leaders. He's not going to let it slip. Sure. He's, he's going to be the guy that says, all right, I don't want to have to do this, but I will take up a gun again. I know how to do this. I don't want to, but yeah, I know yeah. how to, and I can help lead these people I thought that back was... to the real world. Mm -hmm. When we met uh, Pastor Jerome in the trailer, right, mm -hmm. that was one of the most powerful things, of him reading the Bible, pulling out the pulling gun, out and the like gun. he had to go protect his flock. I like yeah. that. Yeah, about. exactly. And that was protecting sort of his flock. The, the inspiration for the character, right, where, where we have Joseph Seed, we have a guy who's sort of uh, taking religion, uh, taking scripture, yeah. twisting it for his own, and, and sort of warping it. the message. Sure. So, you know, we wanted to say, okay, well, there. We need the opposite of that. And we need mm -hmm. someone that's sort of uh, oh, yeah. uh, a positive force of good. Here's uh, the other side. Yeah. It, and, and I think, you know, when we when you look at a character and you say, okay, well, what are the complexities we can give to him? Uh, having a, having a, a man of God who, because of how far he's been pushed, says, you know what? I'm willing to sacrifice my own soul yeah. uh, to save the people that I've yeah. been trying to, to look out for. Absolutely. To run back to the demons he ran away from is yeah, pretty cool. Exactly. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, is that fun it, to play? It's, it's, oh, it's incredibly fun to play. Yeah. Because you, you got to dig. You got to dig sometimes. Sometimes sure. I, I say something, and I just hear Drew on the airline and go, okay, that, that's good, but yeah, I, I, I need, I I need, need to believe it more. I need, yeah, I need a little more. Need so a little, dig a little deeper. Alex yeah. is fixated on this truck, and I have to the say truck. my eyes are drawn to it as well. The Widowmaker. Wait, the Widowmaker. Yeah. Oh, it's now, I like the bobblehead. A little, a little bobblehead. Nice, nice, nice. I nice, like nice, the nice. skirt that he's wearing. Of course, back. yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, bringing new vehicles uh, into sure. Far Cry 5, big part of it. You know, it's it's America, right? We want big monster trucks. It's Far Cry, right. all right. It's still Far Cry. Around. Don't we talk about the pastor and his <laughs> demons, and then the big rigs? It does a 360 after running over <laughs> the barricade. All right. It's a good factory at work. Uh, yeah. So you know, we see a bit of the cult up here. They're they're mm. roaming the countryside. Okay. They're going into towns. They're taking people hostage and ooh, executing them. And Alex is going to um, take them out. Oh, he's going to throw some bait. So, I mean, this is just the kind of stuff, as you're exploring the world, you're, you're meeting people, there's a bear that's now showing up. Um, is that a bear? Yeah, that's oh, a yeah. bear. It's a bear. It's Far Cry. It's, it's still very much Far Cry. Far Cry. Anything can happen. That would just be a rat in Chicago, so it makes <laughs> sense, yeah, why you're running over here doing this. <laughs> no, but, you know, as you explore the world, these are the sort of encounters that you're going to find. Nothing's sort of scripted. Everything's, everything's systemic. Well, that, I mean, that's always been the power of Far Cry, yes, right? Exactly. Where, I mean, it is the fact that you guys, I think, are, you know, make what a sandbox game, what, what mm -hmm. you make sandbox games that are fun to play because that is the story. Yeah, it's, We it's can all go yeah. off and do the same mission, the same objective, but we're all going to do it different ways yeah. and have different yeah. things Yeah, it's about giving the players all the tools to sort of really 
just go off and cause as much mayhem and havoc as they right, want. Right, right, right. Boomer just steal a gun for you? Nice. Dang right he did. That's what Boomer's <laughs> all about. Gives everybody the freedom. Um, but yeah, so so the the world, we were we wanted to focus on a, a more non-linear approach with sure. the story this time. So we had talked to Mary May earlier who said, had mentioned that, that Nick Rye, who lives down the road, was having some trouble with the cult. Maybe you want to go check on him. We're, ne we're not guiding the player this time around in terms of you've got to do this mission, then, then this mission, then Oh, this so mission. the objectives are yeah, just like in any order open. you want? Yeah, and the thing is like with Fall's End, you know, this could be some one of the first places that you, you go to in the game. It could be one of the very last. Gotcha, After gotcha. the opening of the game, you're sort of dropped in the middle of the map, and yeah. you're just, okay, just go. Go, go where you people, want. Go explore, yeah, go figure out, build your resistance the way that you want uh, to take down Joseph Seed in the game. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So that, like, if, like, there's no real way to be like, how far into the game are you right no, now? No, yeah, you can exactly. tackle this in exactly. any order. Interesting, interesting. Oh. So yeah, Completely Nick's random. having a bit of a trouble uh, at his airfield. <laughs> the call to come in here. Nick, uh, Nick's uh, wife is is pregnant with a child. Ooh. Okay. Um, she's uh, Nick was the guy with the crop duster from the yeah, trailer. Exactly, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So he's got a plane. Uh, he's trying to figure out a way to to, to get his family to safety, right? Um, and in the cult, you know, like I said, Joseph uh, Joseph Seed believes that every single soul in Hope County has to be put has to be to 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 be a part of the cult, to be put into their bunkers. To save the to to save themselves from this kind uh, of collapse. The power of and, you know, A lot of people don't like being in the cult. Yeah. Uh, so they're gonna fight. Back. <laughs> there yeah, we so go. We took Man. care of that problem. I love what Boomer just did there. Goes up and takes the badass <laughs> gun <laughs> and brings it to you. That's just ah, that's what he's all about. That's perfect. And there's Nick. So then Nick is part of the resistance. Right. Okay. Exactly. Just like Pastor, just like yes. Mary. Okay. And the thing, you know, you do a couple quests for Nick. Yeah, you, you, you prove that, you know, you're willing to fight for him. And he says, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm going to be on your side. I've got a plane. I'll be able to, to sort of take this guys and, and watch your back. Nice. Yeah. But for right now, uh, Nick, Nick has this plan that he's, he's going to fight back at the cult, you know, blow up some silos where they're sort of storing some explosives. Mm -hmm. uh, but, again, his wife is like, you're not, you're not going to stick your neck out there. That's too stupid. So he, he talks to you and says, you know what, uh, maybe you want to take care of that problem for me? Go Alex, fly my careful. plane. Hold on. We, got, we, got we got wolves. We got wolves. Wolves. Good job, Alex. <laughs> there we go. Yep, so there's, there so there's Nick's plane. Uh, but I think for that, we might go do a little fishing. That's See, okay. and this is one of the things you got. When I was talking before, you have such diverse landscapes, mm -hmm. and now you have to come up with wh what kind of animals would be out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fishing's yeah. brand new. Right? Yep. What else do you have in terms of everything else that's happening? I mean, it's you know, fishing, hunting, uh, giving the player sort of. Far Cry is all about big action all the time. Like, yeah. insanity happens yeah. every minute. But at the same time, when you talk about Montana, the wildlife, um, you know, we wanted to give the player the ability to sort of. Sort of Hang out in nature, yeah, yeah. have a good time, something a little bit more relaxing than just murdering. Always everything killing across. everything, yeah. worrying about what's going to get um, you from behind. So we decided, you know, we're going to throw fishing. In. It's a big part of sort of the culture in Montana and the culture of you know, just the, sort of that that frontier lifestyle. It's a way um, to just come here and decompress, relax, yeah, talk it out with your the, friends. The minute the minute the fishing went in, yeah, everyone became obsessed about it. Oh like, really? Yeah. Fishing, there's fishing tournaments back at the office. We've got a fishing tournament here at PAX. You know, people are trying to catch the biggest fish <laughs> to, to win some of our. Uh, with the flag pins, yep. and people are going nuts. Well, it's just, like, it's who doesn't so love to fish? Yeah. Oh, hey, every now and then you want to put down the stick of dynamite and pick up a fishing <laughs> rod. Yeah, just yeah. Cut. Or throw the stick of dynamite yeah, in, in there and make it easier to get the fish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dynamite in the net, we'll while travel. We, while we chill out here on the riverbank, <laughs> I've been passed audience questions. Are you guys ready? Yeah, sure, sure. True, the first one's for you. Uh-oh. Bobby writes in and says, what inspired the team to do this one in the USA? Um, you know, I, I think it... Uh, Bringing Far Cry to the U.S. was something the team's been wanting to do for quite some time. Yeah. It just never, it, it always, the question came back to believability, right? Sure. Like, does it, does it make sense? So how could you set up Far Cry uh, in the U.S.? Um, so I, I think it was probably around three or four years ago that they, it started in earnest. Okay, we're going to set a, a, a Far Cry in the United States. Um, and it, 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 it just built from there, right? And, and I think that uh, the sort of, the, the current times that we live in, and in the, the current state of things, just it, all of a sudden, Far Cry in the U.S. is way more believable. Than yeah, of course, right. Oh, yeah. Be, there's uh, definitely two sides of it everywhere <laughs> yeah. now. You know what I mean? <laughs> was there? I mean, was Montana the first and only choice, or what? Did you guys toy around with the idea there of a city? A couple, or? There were a couple of different uh, ideas on where to take it, but like, like I said, the minute uh, the team went to Montana, yeah, was like, oh, no, just, this yeah. is it. This is it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's some other ideas in the back pocket, but. Sure. Know, we'll those, right. those went away real quick. Yeah, it really did. <laughs> All right, Martin. 
V-I-R-A-G-O-X-V-535 writes in and says, is that your natural vocalization, or did you rehearse to master a priest tone? You understand? I just do it. Yeah. <laughs> and then for everybody, Lorem Jalepsi the third writes in and says, do you prep for voice recording, or I'm sorry, do you prep for voice recording with other actors? So is it an ensemble thing, or is it mainly you guys alone? Uh, doing a play yeah. okay. in, in the in studios. It's actually a so really Drew, cool process. How do you guys capture and record everything? Are you doing it in booth, but when you go somewhere and they're together, are they doing the mo yeah, stuff? Yeah, so it's, it's split between sort of like in, in uh, gameplay stuff. So what we saw when we saw Jerome earlier, that that's all VO booth. That's Martin okay. booth, sort of just reading a list of lines. The cinematics then are all mocap, right? And we, we, gotcha. we have our big mocap studio in Toronto. Um, where you know we suit everyone up in the mocap suits, the little balls, and put a giant vice headset on them and shine. Really easy to act, isn't it? And then yeah, yeah. say act natural, natural. Yeah, yeah. very natural. Eh? You, you don't notice it. <laughs> hey, in your leotard right now, act like a big bad uh, exactly. pastor. Here's yes, this. And the leotard that tells no tales. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Here's this broom handle. It's a shotgun, and go axe. <laughs> <laughs> and go. Really? Really? Uh, in that studio, what, what did we use for the Bible? It, it was, yeah, it was, it was like a, a block a, of wooden block plastic. Of wood. And they're like, no, yeah, no, this is it. With, this a, opens with a up. fake gun on the inside. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, everything, you know, we, we spend a lot of time, you know, props or, or sort of uh, set pieces in the game, making sure that there's stuff that the actors can interact with because because they've got all this equipment on, yeah. the more things you can give to them that sort of use their imagination to pretend, it, yeah. the better the performance is going to be. Us down. But it's got, yeah, it you know, because of it. all the cameras that you're in the space, everything sort of has to be uh, like a wire version of it sure. because the yeah. camera's got to sort of pick up all the data on where the Makes you know, body is at any mm -hmm. time. Final question before I let you guys stop fishing. Yeah. Do you do the voice recording separate? The challenge that I've had. Uh, okay. Yeah, here we go. It's, it's yeah. tough to wrap that around your head and yeah. move too. You're like, okay, what, are, what am I trying <laughs> to do? Because usually when you're talking with somebody, back and you get it. But you're mm -hmm. just like, what am I? Yeah. Okay, no, no, I'm motivated. I'm telling him to yeah. do this. I'm yeah. asking him to yeah. do this. I'm begging. Do you, do you like that challenge? Yeah, yeah. I, I like any challenge. <laughs> any, any any time I'm uncomfortable, I'm I'm pretty happy. You know, you, you don't know what's no. Well, that's that's what we do. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, if you, if I'm comfortable all the time, eh, I'm kind of bored. You're doing something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's true. That's fine. Then any, anybody could be doing it. Right. I want to be the only guy that should be doing it. How uncomfortable can I make you? <laughs> um, ta, ta, um, uh, all right. What's going on good. here, Drew? What's going on here? Uh, we're in a plane. We're, yeah, we, this we is finally new. took Nick's plane. Yes, first time in Far Cry Five or. First time for Far, Far Cry. Cry the series, right? The series, yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we're bringing Sky Combat, uh, big planes, uh, jets. Uh, we've got the, this sort of seaplane here that Nick has uh, given to us. It's got machine guns on it. It's got rockets. Mm -hmm. It's got you can drop bombs on these little silos. So earlier on, we met Nick and he was like, "Hey, go go blow up these silos." My uh, wife won't let me go fight the yeah, resistance I won't do it. or fight for the resistance. And so, and yeah, <laughs> it's, again, it's sort of the structure of the game, right? Like Nick told us this, the, the, he had this quest for us. And mm. we could we could have gone you know off exploring you know yeah, the, yeah. the quest is sort of waiting for us of course to mm. pick it up and, and, and go do it. Um, it's also yeah. a great view of like how Should different the, yeah. what, what yeah. you guys have going in, yeah. in Montana think, you know, right now. In in this this region you know it's a lot of farmland it's a lot of uh, typical stuff that you might see in sort of the the, the countryside, um, but the, the topography is way different. Like if you go to the north you know it's much more mountainous, much more forest. It, it feels more. Gameplay-wise, feels maybe kind of more along the lines of like primal, which is, it's a lot of sure. hunting, it's a lot of sure, stealth. Sure, sure. Um, there's a, the other regions that you know. Real quick, I'm sorry. What is this on the left? What is the level? That two? is the resistance right. meter. So oh. again, because it's a nonlinear game, yeah. we, we were we were trying to come up with a way with how do how do I feel like I have, I'm, I'm I'm giving a progression to the game. Okay. Right? So we said, okay, from the outset, you're trying to build up your resistance in each region that you find. So as you're meeting people like Mary and Pastor Drum, you're doing quests for them, or you're taking out outposts, what you're doing is you're building your resistance. Gotcha. So more people are going to show up to fight on your side. Okay. Uh, you're going to have more access to, to new guns for hire uh, to, to fight alongside you. Um, and at the same time, <laughs> the, uh, the cult's going to start to react to it. Like, that's how we're sort of inserting our bad guys this, this time around. Rather than saying, go play this story mission, I'm going out, I'm clearing an outpost, and if that raises my resistance meter to a, a point where the cult notices me, yeah. now all of a sudden the bad guy's going, no, 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 we're not, we're not having this. Interesting, okay, uh, okay. They're going to show up and insert themselves into your story. Now, when I get the plane here, mm -hmm. do I have access to it the rest of the game? Can I just run around and use it whenever I want yeah, to? Yeah, you could I mean, you could take this plane, you know, fly all the way up to the north, hang out with so the people So does this completely change taking down outposts? Because I feel yeah, like now I, I can just come, I, if I want to stealth, if I want to do whatever. Yes, ever, exactly. Whatever. So you can take a plane around, you can bomb some guys. But the thing is, because Bring there's it. a lot more interior space. This song, uh, yeah! <laughs> you feel it too, Pax? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, but like, so I, I have the gameplay change of being able to shoot everything and blow it up, which seems yeah. awesome. But does the fact that water is a bigger part of it, that trees are a bigger part of it, is there more to it in that respect in terms of how to use the topography? Yeah, I, I, you know, this. I mean, when you get up to the north, where it's much more mountainous, much more forest, you know, you're going to have a bit more harder time navigating with the plane, right? And trying to like all those guys are sort of, you know, hiding out on the bottom of the ground. You're going to have to get on your get on your get on the ground, you know, go a little more hand to hand, uh, uh, on foot combat. Um, but here, you know, we wanted to showcase the the plane combat. We've there got we AI are. that are also flying uh, around. This is this guy is one of the chosen. Okay, he's got like the elite soldiers uh, oh. of the cult. They've been trained to to you. Know, to defend the cult. These are the so red are there, there's levels to the cult. Yeah, the people exactly. I meet on the yeah. street aren't yeah. the chosen. This right. guy's exactly. Soldier. So there's like there's cult followers that you'll you'll find. Gotcha. But at the same time, there's chosen. There's special elite guys. As you progress through the game, as you build your resistance, mm -hmm. the chosen are going to start showing up more and more, and they're much tougher, much more accurate. They've got a lot more tools yeah. at their disposal to take you down. And now you put them down the baseball oh, nice. field. Gamescom demo. This is PAX. <laughs> this game sucks. Oh. <laughs> That's it. It doesn't even respect. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Philippe Fournier, associate producer on Far Cry 5. And I'm Mari Knadel, a scriptwriter on Far Cry 5. Today we're going to take you through our extended E3 demo and highlight some of the features that we're really excited about. Welcome to Hope County, Montana. This is the Holland Valley, a section of farmland that the project at Eden's Gate is using as their breadbasket. With us in this demo, we have our loyal dog Boomer as your fang for hire. For now, I just can't resist. The setup is too perfect. I'm going to use this tractor against the cult. The cult is stealing supplies and kidnapping people, using them to prepare for a doomsday that's really just around the corner. We're going to put you in the shoes of a rookie deputy and drop you into the heat of the conflict. In Far Cry 5, we want to give you tools that feel like they belong in Montana in your fight against a doomsday cult. And now we're going to make a quick getaway in case reinforcements arrive. Oh Christ, help me. Boomer is just one of the many allies you can recruit using our four hire system. Each of them has special abilities and it's up to you to select which companion to bring along for the ride. Whether you're just exploring the open world or fighting cultists head on in a specific <laughs> location. <laughs> Cute dog. <laughs> My dad would love to know what type of breed is Boomer? No, seriously. His um, breed is mutt, but he is um, mostly blue healer by the looks of him. Montana is a great place to fish, and it was important for us to create a system where we allowed players to live that experience. In the rivers and lakes of Hope County, you will find many different types of fish. It's a really good way for players to gain experience and also just get away from the conflict. And here we see the player needs to fight a little bit to get the fish. Nice, catch of the day on the menu. So it's nice to unwind with some fishing every now and then, but we know the cult isn't taking any breaks because they have an apocalypse to prepare for. As you explore the county, you'll come across cultists working hard to serve Joseph, the father of their cult. They're taking food and supplies for their bunkers, they're blocking the roads so no one can escape, and they're destroying resources so the resistance can't use them. And it looks like we spotted something up ahead. Yeah, let's take out our binoculars. All right, it seems like there's a small group of cultists there, Mari. All right, so this looks like a forced baptism. What do you say we get in there, Phil? Yeah, let's do it. I think the best approach would be to go in stealthily through the river with Boomer by our side. I think we're well equipped to get rid of those two guys. Here we're using one of the iconic weapons featured in Far Cry 5, the revolver. And you'll be able to customize those weapons by adding attachments or changing the color scheme and hunt the cult in style. Go Boomer! Alright, Boomer showing off one of, his, one of his skills. This can really be a game changer in a fight where you're a bit low of ammo or you don't have the right weapon for the situation. 
He's a good dog. You know, Boomer's a great all-rounder who can support any play style. Even without your commands, he'll fetch guns for you, take down cultists in a fight, and he'll tag enemies and animals from far away with his keen sense of smell. The game being set in America, it was important for us to bring a wide variety of vehicles from pickups to tractors to big rigs like this one. This one is specifically called the Widowmaker. It's like a battering ram on wheels, and it's a great tool to create chaos and take down enemy vehicles or roadblocks. And it looks like we got one here. Let's do it. Pedal to the middle. <laughs> that boss bobblehead didn't even move. We're so good. We got him glued onto the dash. That's it. Boom. So it sounds like we're listening to the cult radio station. I got to say, some of their hymns are pretty catchy, Phil. Now we're pulling up to Ryan Sons Aviation. This is the home of Nick Rye. He's a crop duster and a family man. He's doing what he can to keep his family safe and keep the cult from getting his plane, but it looks like they've beaten us here, so let's jump right in. There's no time to waste. And let's Boomer like kind of create distractions for us to get behind cover and help Nick fight the cultists. In Far Cry 5, you'll need to improvise and choose from a vast arsenal of weapons and find elements in the environment to take down the enemy. There we go. So we just took down the last cultist at Nick Rise using my favorite stealth weapon, a baseball bat. Sometimes you can hear Boomer growling when he feels a threat nearby. And Boomer is just part of Far Cry 5's living world we've built where there's always something or someone around you whether you notice it or not. This means you'll always need to be prepared. Boomer will stand his ground and defend you from predators as there are a lot of moments for the player to hunt or be hunted and we've built a deep ecosystem that represents Montana's wilderness. So, you know, we've seen ducks, um, a sturgeon, deer, and this is just a small sample of all of the wild animals that you'll encounter in Hope County. So now we've jumped into Nick Rye's plane. It's been in his family for generations, and with it, we'll take to the sky to destroy some uh, cult silos that are hoarding explosives. The world that we've built is larger than any Far Cry before, and for the first time you can explore the world in any direction that you choose right from the start. In this demo, we're in Holland Valley, and this is just one small part of Hope County. Montana is called Big Sky Country after all. Flying is a great way to travel, explore the county, and scout out new opportunities. And also blow things up. Look at that go! Nice work, partner! Go get the other one. Oh, looks like the cult has decided to intervene. That plane belongs to a Chosen. Now, the Chosen are elite soldiers, and it's their job to basically crush any threat to the project at Eden's Gate. So if we've done enough to anger the cult, we're going to engage in a little dogfight with them and show them what we think of them. That's right. Even in the air, there's a lot of opportunities for the player to uh, you know, find or discover or get chased by, by get discovered. or get discovered, yeah, totally. Uh, hunt or be hunted, as we call it. I think right now we are the predator. Yep, we got them on the run. They're smoking. And we did it. Well done. So thanks for watching. And we're really looking. If you had pulled your parachute in that very short jump, would anything bad happen? Okay, maybe we'll try it next time. Oh, jeez. This fanatical cult, and you as the hero are, you know, um, joining the resistance to try and push back and liberate these people. Exactly. Yep, that's what we built. So as you kind of see this, you're, you're going to see Boomer for the first time. You find yourself in the world. You know that this cult has taken over the space. You're kind of trapped behind cult lines. And what you have to do is basically find people out in the world and build this resistance. And it can start with uh, Boomer the dog or any other person that you meet. 
I mean, you have to start with the dog. Of course. Is there any other right, option? Right. Man's best friend. Exactly. Well, we were actually in Montana and we were uh, hunting and there was, um, it was kind of the end of the day and it was getting cold and the guy that we were with was like, don't move. We're like, okay. And we, we watched his dog for like 10 to 12 minutes and finally and the dog wasn't moving. At the end of it, the dog barked and this bird went and he goes, always trust your dog. And that's why the game's in, that's why the dog's in the game. Nice. Yeah. The origin story of Boomer there you go. on that's PlayStation Boomer. Underground. Yep. You, you got more than you asked for, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so t tell me a little bit about this setting, because we are about to try and liberate yeah. a section of Hope So this County. is a small community, Falls End. And what you basically got here is that the cultists come in and they've begun this thing called the Reaping, where what they believe is that the end of the world is coming, and that what they need to do is save as many souls as they can whether they want to be saved or not. So they come in, they take over the town, they begin to take people, they kill some people. And what you have to do is basically liberate that town and take it back. And when you do, it begins to open up other parts of the world and you can meet different characters and, and you begin to discover the open world through these communities. And I think you guys want to, well, we want to use Boomer, obviously, but also uh, the our, our friend playing here is going to take a slightly more... Uh, long-range approach exactly. at the beginning of this right. playthrough. And that's one of the principles of Far Cry, right, is that you can play however you want to play, and there's a lot of 360 degrees, right? I mean, we learned that on some of the games that we've built in the past of building a game and building an environment where you can attack it any way you want. In this case, you've got Boomer, who has the ability to actually tag all these characters and be able to help you figure out how you want to attack. Okay, so now I believe that there is a bet in place where uh, if any death happens uh, on screen that is not the enemy, <laughs> yes, exactly. we beat up the driver. Yep. yep. Max is going to be in trouble if he dies. We've got to watch carefully. So he can attack it any way he wants. And what's cool, though, as you can see, is that what he's able to do now with Boomer is he's able to tag everybody. But what's really cool about Boomer is once you set him loose, he really does become a weapon unto himself. And you can basically kill these guys and begin to take the weapons from them. Let's see what Max does. And this is the cult on the yep, microphone, that's correct? that's the father. Mm -hmm. What he does is he actually... Oh, he's just taking the guy down. So Boomer's kicked it off. And now he can send Boomer pretty much anywhere. I think the stealth, the stealth uh, section over. is over it's now. It's over. Boomer's We've uh, moved lit into it up. the new chapter. Yep. I like that the dog kind of decided when it was yeah. time for, uh, for yep. things to get... Always trust your dog. Up. And there's some gun emplacements here to, to make matters more fun. Yeah. So Max is gonna he's gonna tear it up. And you can see civilians civilians are actually getting out. I mean you rescued a couple people just by being able to push back on the kelp. They're gonna get in vehicles, they're gonna act like normal people, they're gonna get the hell out of there. And then Boomer's gonna step in. Now reinforcements have showed up. So now you got to think about, all right, how do I spin that plate a little differently? How do I get it so all those guys that showed up in that cult vehicle, maybe you can send Boomer in and basically try and take some of those guys out. If you had pulled your parachute in that very short jump, would anything bad happen? Okay. Maybe we'll try it next time. Oh, jeez. Perfect. Except for all the smoke. Yeah. We can't see. Go, go, Boomer. Boomer! Take him down. Good nice. old reliable Boomer. Yep. It seems like if you name your dog Boomer, you're kind of setting the animal up for a certain type of life. Exactly. Right? Yep. A life of action yep. and mayhem. Oh, that's it. Which I would not wish upon any real animal. Right. I just want to put that yep. on the record. So there you go. Liberated. Yep. Basically so took simple. over the town. Yeah, it was super cool. Just because we had Boomer, though. Anyone exactly. else, I don't know if it would have gone as smoothly. Well, wow, Boomer's super cool. I mean, we really wanted to be able to make it so that we had that experience that we had in Montana of you have a dog, it's your pet, you trust it, and it's a weapon. It's super cool. And do you gain any access to something once you liberate this area? For sure. A, so, another foothold here yeah, in the community? Yeah, so this, this is a community. We actually built communities in the world so that what you do is you meet real people like Mary May, Pastor Jerome, Nick, and when you meet these sort of community leaders, they're going to tell you about things that are happening out in the world, and that helps you basically follow your nose out into the world and do what you want to do. Awesome. Dan, this looks amazing. Cool. I love seeing it. Far Cry 5 coming to PS4 next year in February. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining right us. Right on. Thanks, man. And Appreciate this it. a little bit about why Montana. Well, take a look at it. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a, you know, We actually went there, and we just kind of discovered it and fell in love with it. The thing is, is that for us, we know that Far Cry has typically been about putting you on a plane 6,000 miles away and giving you somewhere exotic. But we said, what if we could do that kind of at home? What if we could let you explore the things that you already know and make that feel a little bit twisted and interesting? How do you do it? And in this case, what you're seeing is the cult, which we've built, has actually taken over this small town of Falls End. You're looking at it, getting a sense of what you got to do. 
And what we wanted to do is give you the tools, the weapons and the people to be able to build this resistance and then fight back. Awesome. So I, I actually have community questions, Sid. Can oh, you believe it? Dan get, Dan, get ready. All right, I'm ready. One. You already know what these are. Uh, Oversoul Gaming wanted to know, this is the first Far Cry game I'm really interested in. Will it be newcomer friendly? Is it more focused on action or stealth? It's a great question. I think that from the standpoint of it being newcomer friendly, for sure, right? Um, we, we definitely want to be able to make it so that if you played a Far Cry before, you're going to be able to pick this up and go, OK, I get, oh, that's different. Wait a minute, this surprise. But if you've never played a Far Cry before, it's a great opportunity for you to pick it up and to be able to experience it for the first time because we're building a story that you author, right? Gone are the days of the linear story. What we want to be able to make it is that you can go in any direction, meet any character, and be able to imbibe in the action bubbles that you want to do. So for sure, it's, it's completely friendly. Good. Well, he asked a good question then. That's great. Go ahead. What's your next one? Uh, Philippe wants to know, is the wingsuit back? It's did a lot in Primal. Uh-oh. I don't even <laughs> yeah, know if I'm allowed to do Primal. Wait, like, <laughs> you're just like sew together a bunch of fur skin for like just fly. <laughs> it's not like we didn't talk about it, but the okay, beautiful right. explosion was a, I don't honestly know if I'm allowed to talk about the wingsuit. You know what? Fuck it. Yes, it's back. Okay. And what's cool about it is that we didn't just we didn't just put in the wingsuit, we actually built a character that's this legendary stuntman that's from Mon Montana, our character. Awesome. And when you do a lot of this stuff with the wingsuit and other things that you do that are stunts in the world, you're actually paying homage to him and you can unlock stuff based off his personality from like the 1960s and the 1970s. That was a PlayStation Live for me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Heard it here first. There you I'm go. sure Dan's colleagues are just <laughs> yeah. over the moon. Exclusive. <laughs> um, yeah. And you know, I, I know we're already you know a little bit through the demo here, Dan, but we didn't really talk about the father and the right. cult yet. Right. But that's obviously a huge point yeah. uh, in Far Cry 5. It's right. sort of the antagonist of the series. Yeah, I think you know the people know that we've worked really hard, and, and when you think about it from the standpoint of Far Cry 3 and Bob, started to cobble together this idea of the father. And then we started to think about, okay, who do we get to play this? And we got a lot of interesting options in terms of casting, and then we found a guy by the name of Greg Brick, who is unbelievable. And this guy is spooky. He's a fantastic actor. He came in, he's playing our father, and the thing about him is, is that when you meet him, he was the one actor that I met that I actually believed he could bring me into a cult. And that was uh, all the difference. Plus, he doesn't blink, and it's really spooky. That, like at all? Like, at all. It's weird. Like, yeah. That's another exclusive. Yeah. I wait. Really though? Does he have like eye drops? That he's no, no, no. He's just intense. In? He's okay. really, he, you know, he's really good at his craft, and he's intense. And when he brings the father, he brings it all. That's amazing. And you know, Dan, this is amazing because compared to the footage we were just seeing. Our driver here is already, it's so much different from what yeah. we were seeing before. Yeah. Different, game different, different pathways yep. through, different encounters. That's what we wanted, and it wasn't just in terms of a single area. I mean, we want that for all the regions in the game, that you're going to meet different communities, you're going to have different guns for hire, different opportunities, that you can attack it. I mean, Far Cry has been about freedom, opportunity, and surprise, and that's what we bring. And, and, and these partners, these co-op par partners are... are Hey guys, this is Dan Hay. I'm the executive producer on Far Cry and the creative director on Far Cry 5. Today, we want to show you the world of Far Cry 5 and introduce you to the little town of Falls End, which has been overrun by a fanatic cult. In Far Cry 5, we want to give you an entire for hire system. Guns for hire, fangs for hire, and friends for hire. Meet Boomer and Grace. Boomer's your dog, perfect to run out into the world and tag enemies. And Grace? We got piggies. She's the quiet sniper. The cult at Eden's Gate has basically taken Damn, over all of Falls like End. And you and your guns for hire have to take it back. Where do you want me? We're going to send Grace, our sharpshooter, to the water tower to get ourselves water a cover tower. fire. Got it. remnants of resistance that tried to fight the cult. I'm in position. Out there in the bushes is Boomer. He's ready to go. And up above, Nick. Perfect death from above. Now, it's time to call on Grace to do what she does. Boom, boom, motherfuckers.
Putting the game in people's hands, seeing them play, how's it been for you? It's been amazing. I mean, we've been sitting on this idea for almost three years, mm -hmm. and we're back, you know, back home thinking about it and saying, what are people going to say? How are they going to feel? What's going to happen when they actually take the controller and they get to use guns for hire? They get to go out into Hope, Montana. They get to experience all the stuff that we want to be able to put into the Anecdote Factory, and it's just, it's awesome to see. It's very cool. I played it myself, and the demo starts with a choice yes. of three of the guns for hire yep. you can have. Talk us through yep. each one. So you've got three right from the beginning, and we've got Nick, and Nick is kind of like this uh, death from above guns for hire, right? He's, uh, he's a crop duster by trade, he's got this plane that he's outfitted with the ability to strafe and to be able to drop bombs, and he's just a hell of a lot of fun to play with. Or you can choose Grace, and Grace is super tough, super accurate with the sniper rifle. She's great sort of from up above in the water tower, um, she's super quiet, so if you want to play stealth, that's how you do it. But once she unleashes, she brings the thunder. It's all kinds of trouble. And then finally, you got Boomer, which is a fan favorite. Everybody's loving Boomer. Um, it's your dog, your pet, uh, your best friend. And what's cool about Boomer is if you want to be able to go out and, and play may maybe with a little bit more of intention of being stealthy, you can go and actually mark everybody and then choose which one you want Boomer to take. And there are definitely moments where I sort of was like, all right, there's two guys coming from around this truck. Boomer, you go yeah. there, I'll yeah. go here. Yeah. Boom. Yep, it works. I mean, that's the thing that we wanted. And the guns for hire are there for you to use the way you want and kind of attack the whole game from 360 degrees. Did you get in the uh, Widowmaker? Did you get in the big truck? Is that the name? Yeah. Oh, the Widowmaker. Yeah, yeah with the, the big, big truck with the eagle on the side and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. So you hop inside, you get inside this big rig and you go off. And if you've got a Guns for Hire with you, they're either on the ground running with you, they're getting in a car themselves, they're, they're beside you in the seat. And as you go out into the world, what we wanted was the feeling that the cult was putting pressure on the world, that you could see it, that there's going to be moments of cult interactions out in the world, and you can basically take that, and if you want to go off-road, you can. If you want to be able to stay on the road, you can. If you want to go hunt off to the side, you can. And then when you finally get to Nick's, you realize, here's another person, like you, who's being pushed back by the cult. He's being basically pushed at, and you can liberate him, make sure that he's safe, and then he turns to you and says, hey, listen, thanks, partner. Listen, my plane's not too far away. If you got a moment, go take the plane, do some damage with it, and try some death from above. Let's get into some trouble. Yeah, let's do it. If you do enough damage, if you push too hard, they call down the Chosen. And the Chosen are going to show up. They're going to be tough. They're going to be very tough to beat. They're going to give you a real challenge. And they're going to force you or push you or encourage you to try and play the game a different way. It's a beautiful place to spend some time, get into some mayhem. Yes. Exciting to see Far Cry 5 here at E3, and it's coming out next year. Yep. What's the date? February 27th, 2018. Be there. We must atone! No! No! Something is coming. You can feel it, can't you? You can feel that we are creeping towards the edge. I know that you are out there. And I know that you are in pain. But my children, I'm here to tell you that suffering is a choice. And you can choose a better path. We want you. We accept you. And we will take you. Willingly or not. And some of you may fight. But in the end, you will thank us. 
I am your father. And you are my children. kept this kind of longing to go to the States and bring Far Cry to the States, but it's not easy to do. The idea of going to a frontier in the States and bringing you to a place that you kind of know already, and just the concept that the thing that's in your backyard could be even more exotic than going a thousand miles away. And that's why we brought it to the States. I am your father, and you are my children. We have to compete with ourselves. We, we built Voss, we built Pagan Min, we wanted the father to be amazing. A cult leader who absolutely unequivocally believes that the end of times is coming and that he needs to save as many people as he can, whether they want to be saved or not, was I think the genesis for what we built. I think what was interesting about Montana when we went there is we met a lot of people that, that didn't want to be messed with. They wanted to be left alone. And it created this sense of a frontier and a remoteness that really resonated with us. And what was cool about the language of some of the things we're hearing was, you know, sort of maybe don't trust the government and we can do it ourselves. What happens when somebody else shows up and says, yeah, I agree with you, don't trust the government and we can do it ourselves and I will provide. All of a sudden you create this petri dish, this sort of magnet for crazy, which is where Eden's Gate goes. And this time we thought it would be really interesting if we basically create a cast of characters and you've got, you know, the family, um, you've got the entire group at Eden's Gate, You've got Joseph and Jacob, John and Faith, and they each have their own personalities and they each even have their own uh, agenda. But then at the same time, you have all the characters that you have out in the open world. So you've got Mary May, and Nick, and you've got Pastor Jerome, and a host of other characters that you can meet and interact with. And when we see those characters come to life and we see that they're not just AI waiting around to give you a mission, they have real personalities, they have opinions about stuff. Um, the world feels real. You're gonna need to get help. And when we were in Montana, we met really interesting people that we imagined could, could really take care of themselves. I think that what's cool about that is that you go out into the world and you meet people for the first time. You don't know them. Maybe they don't trust you. But if you can, if you can strike up a deal with them, if you can have a conversation with them and make them part of what it is that you're building, they can join your resistance. And now you have a guns for hire that comes with you. When I think of Far Cry, I think about the idea of kind of sitting at a bar, having a scotch, and somebody comes up behind me and starts to talk about an urban legend that happened kind of to them. And they're telling the story of survival in a frontier and it's twisted, it's, it's unique. That's what makes a Far Cry story. And if I can imagine myself at that bar and I can hear that story and go, okay, we could build that, we can make that, that's a Far Cry. And I do that for all the projects that we work on. It's like, could that be real? And in this case, I think that bar is actually in Montana. Woe to the man who leads my flock astray, says the Lord. We were given so much. This land, this life, our freedom. What's left of it now? Our people felt abandoned, grew weary they needed our help and we didn't listen but he did told them exactly what they wanted to hear but those falsehoods lies his poison it's driven them from pasture from the righteous path woe to the man who leads my flock astray if I am not their shepherd, then I must be the wolf. She's a beauty, ain't she?
is she? All this time, she ain't never let me down. I just hope she's around when he's old enough to fly. Ooh, my boy. I mean, I hope it's a boy. I just want him to fly her like I do. Not like my dad or my grandpa. They flew in the war, so I didn't have to. But now, I don't know if he'll ever have the chance. Not with these around here. People are scared, man. And I may never have gone to war. The Peggy's come after my family. Sure as hell, we'll give him one. I grew up here, you know. Had my first kiss out back with some dumb cowboy. <laughs> Almost got caught by my dad. He loved this place. It wasn't all easy. But he always made sure that here, you could speak your mind. And then they showed up. We're here to help, they said. He believed them. And then they took my mom, my brother. And dad was never the same. And now what? You want to take this place, too? No. This place is ours.